We will start off with Mr. Daschle, who has been summoned by a mysterious telegram uh, to, to uh, coordinate and cooperate with uh, some strange agency called the Federal Bureau of Intelligence. Um, and you're told to come to the police station where you would meet somebody that would uh, set you on your path. Uh, you're ushered into the inspector's office, Inspector Graham, uh, and you see over here on the couch is a reporter that you're somewhat familiar with, you've seen around. Um, don't know his name, but he's been around. Uh, of course, you've seen Inspector Graham here and going in the city. And this uh, other gentleman here who you've never seen before. He introduces himself as Agent Harper. Good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Dechelle. How are we feeling today? Star. The name is Star. Ah, Mr. Star. Well, and I'm quite good. Yourself, sir? Uh, I, I would honestly say I have been better. Um, notice that he's got a cane. That he's, uh, even sitting down, he's kind of leaning on it. He seems to be unable to get comfortable. Um, and his face is a little rigid with probably pain. He does not look like a comfortable man. Uh, he goes, well, I, I'm going to cut to the point. Uh, I've been asked to have somebody that can document things uh, in an exciting fashion. And your manner of writing, um, which you will certainly get paid for, of course, uh, if you could document uh, the, the, the process we are going through here and the investigations and the, uh, well, the, the, the situation Me? that we have. Yes, you. Uh, you're, you know, you're a successful enough author, and your styling um, appeals to uh, uh, one of my compatriots who is, uh, has a good bit of pull with the agency. I see. Um, fan, then. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, he's, he's quite a kind of a famous fan, but uh, I'm not privileged to say his name just yet. Uh, just know that uh, there, there will be an expense account, and uh, you know, uh, I think you, uh, he, he said that it would be a, a Hollywood standard writing contract, whatever that is. I'm not familiar with that. Um, but I do have to tell you, uh, if you agree to this, it is at your own risk. I, I cannot be responsible for your safety. Well, that's quite dramatic, isn't it? Uh, it, it, it? It could be said to be so, yes. Uh, and uh, it will indeed be dangerous, I, unfortunately. Could you perhaps elucidate further on the nature of the danger? I, I'm a little confused. Uh, what could possibly uh, bring, are bring you... me to your attention? Well, uh, you would need someone like me to document uh, an investigation. Uh, I have no experience with the military, and uh, I have no uh, no background with uh, any sort of uh, endeavor that might lead one to think that I'm uh, you uh, willing to take on large risks. <laughs> well, you uh, your, your writings are uh, of the kind of the, the the dashing hero type, correct? Well, yes, of course, sir. That is uh, what sells today in the pulps. And uh, I have to say, I, I am a writer of fiction. i uh, knowledgeable in a number of subjects, but I have no direct lived experience of them. I, I have several stories about a sea captain who solves mysteries. I've never solved a mystery myself, nor have I ever been a sea captain. No, but you could accompany those that do and just simply record and, you know, perhaps... Uh accentuate the story to make it more you know appealing to the masses i see and and what is the nature of this investigation and what sort of risks are we discussing ah well uh have you heard the tales about town of late i do not believe i have i have only just recently arrived in portland well uh, portland has always been a strange town and there are several Unfortunately, grisly murders that seem to have happened recently. Um, I 
can't tell you too many details unless you agree, and we have a little bit of paperwork to fill out, but if you do, I can give you a, a bit of a background into what we believe is causing them and uh, how we can prevent any in the future. It would be actually be doing your nation a great service. My nation? But this is a matter of uh, public import, then? Most, most assuredly, yes. Of, of I see. Possibly world import. Oh well, these these are grave, uh, grave circumstances. Then uh, perhaps we could discuss, since I am not uh, privy to the exact nature of the uh, uh, the risk. Perhaps we could discuss the payment up front, at least. Um. Well, let's see. We could front you. Oh, huh? well. Hmm. He kind of opens up a folder. It's like, what did he say? It was that, that, and I could go to that. Oh, to hell with it. Um, I, I'm authorized, and I'm just going to front you, uh, I would say $1,000, which is an astounding amount, remind you, in 1920. Uh, he goes up $1,000. Do you mind if I smoke? And uh, Dashiell pulls a cigarette out of his cigarette case and lights it. <laughs> He's like, I, assuredly, no problem. And he has no problem with that. He goes, uh... Thousand dollars up front. Uh, we will uh, give you an expense account of, uh, say, a hundred dollars a week, but it must be shared with the investigators you are tailing and shadowing. And uh, uh, how many of these investigators are there, and, and what are their names? Uh, I should know something about the people I'm going to work with, especially if we're going to share some sort of great nation-threatening risk. Well, let's see how soon and how many I can talk into it. And he laughs. I see. He goes, well, we, we are quite desperate. This is happening as we speak. Uh, if you agree, follow me. If not, uh, have a good day, sir. Uh, he goes, I, I, I apologize for being curt, but the, this, there are attentions that are pressing immediately, and we wish to deal with them. At that point, he literally stands up, and he starts limping, severely leaning on this cane. Well, I was going to ask for at least the duration of this cigarette to think about it, but since you put it that way, all right, I'm in. And I get up. <laughs> um, begin following him, still dragging on my cigarette. And this man is, he's in pain, but he is determined. Um, Does it look like a fresh injury or an old wound? This looks fresh. I mean, well, actually, do a, uh, uh, let's see. Let me open your character sheet here. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, do me a favor and roll me, um, medicine, please. All right, hold on. Uh, oh, that, yeah, uh. Oh, okay, 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 My yeah. score of medicine is very low. I um, put no points into it. Um, what did you have on it? Uh, just the base 10, or? Yeah, just the base uh, I'm not sure what the base is for medicine. I think it's. I'm one. looking at you right now. Uh, yeah, it's Actually, a one. I have, I have a character sheet on a separate. Uh, let me get pull up my other. Yeah, character. I've got I've got a sheet open. It's a, it's a one. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, you you just you know, actually you you've got a better idea than most would. Um, <coughs> you, you can tell he's at least he's not. He, he's not comfortable with the motions he's making, so you suspect it's not something he's lived with for many years. But that's about all you can tell. It just doesn't look like okay. a, you know, it doesn't look like an old wound. All right. All right. Um. Ow. Uh. Do, do, do. Actually, no. He wanted to go this way. I'm sorry. As he walks past here. Um, Richard, as you sit there and you see this limping man come up and a uh, fellow behind him who uh, looks, I don't think you've ever actually seen him, but he just looks uh, like somebody that you would uh, know uh, from like, you know, the, the upper end echelon clients that you occasionally get that uh, will, you know, want to do... Uh, seances and stuff he seems to be of that caliber of person um, probably fairly well to do um, and this guy walks up to you and he goes uh, 
Are, are you the vestibule case at this table? Um, he's uh, looking at the officer and you. Uh, yes, Officer Krantz uh, sent us over here to call for an ambulance. Is he and, talking to uh, me? No, he's talking to Rich. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. That's right. And he goes... Uh, yes, uh, he, he sent me over... Or Officer Krantz sent, sent us over here to uh, uh, get an ambulance and, and some extra backup for him for my shop on a... And I give the address since we haven't determined where exactly that is. He did a call and he said you would have something for me. Oh, uh, and I open up my, my jacket and with two fingers pull out <laughs> the envelope and and pass it to him. All right. Uh, as he does so, um, he kind of holds it up. And let's see, not that one. Where is it? Records. Where's that? Where is that? Where is that? Um, there it is. Sorry, I had to. He holds out this uh, a little burnt fragment of paper, and uh, kind of he goes, "Please don't touch it. We don't know what its well powers are yet." Um, who all was present during this uh, th this event here? Uh, where where the, the, I, I assume the man uh, he said he got violent and attacked somebody. Hey, he got violent and was uh, attempting to uh, a, a, attack this young girl over here, um, and well, I had to I had to put him down. Uh, in, any clue uh, why he would attack you? And he looks at both you and Sally. He looks he looked rather mad actually, just quite out of his gourd. Uh, that fits with everything else we've seen. Uh, uh, what is your relation uh, to this young lady here? Uh, what is your name? He's like, you know, Sally, sir. Uh, we're we're in a. Uh, she's a, a representative of a business partner. Business partner. What what's your business? Well, sir, I dabble this and that, uh, do seances, some tarot reading, and I foresee the future, and, well, it looks like we're in for some rough water, sir. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, um, and then he looks over at the woman that's sitting there that drove you here. Um, and he goes, Connie, what do you think? And she kind of stands up, she goes, eh. I don't know. I'm gotten much out of him. He, 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 I honestly don't think he knows anything beyond what he's told you, really. All right. Um, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him with me. Uh, you go and uh, talk to the inspector and catch him up. At which point she just gets up like this is no big deal, and she just departs and heads towards the inspector's office, and disappears in there. And, uh, I'm beginning to think I was scoped out by a secret agent lady. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, as she goes into the office, uh, he motions for uh, you and Sally to come with. Uh, and uh, he's looking out for Mr. DeShiel, wondering where he went. <laughs> now, do you mind telling me what's going on? I, I had some uh, some readings earlier today. I mean, Mrs. Jenkins was supposed to be in my shop today. Um, absolutely. Uh, let us go somewhere more private. And he begins limping this way. And beckons Sally to follow. Awaits everybody here. I'm going to just drag him. Uh, there he is. Marvelous. And he leads you into uh, an interrogation room. Actually, he would have left you over here. Oh, okay. And unlocks the door and. Witchcraft! He was moving through walls! <laughs> steps in and kind of takes an uncomfortable seat. You see there's an empty interrogation room in front of you uh, on a 
behind a primitive one-way mirror. Just a moment here. Oh, wait, is the door not open for me? Uh, oh, right, there you go. That's the reason. <laughs> I'm going to drag Mr. DeShiel in there. And that is where we will sit them. And make sure Firefox is showing correctly. There we go. <laughs> Don't sit in his lap. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. He leads you into this room. It's dark. Um, to so that it can't be seen from the other side of the mirror. Um, and he sits down. Yeah, thank you. All right, I am. Uh, I'm from the Department of State, um, Federal Bureau of Secret Information and Intelligence. Basically, um, we are not a large organization. All hell is breaking loose in Portland. Um, I am desperate. I am using every person I have, uh, and I need additional help. And I need you to give me all the information you know about everything. He's looking at you and Sally, uh, Richard. What was your business? What, 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 what exactly is the nature of uh, your, your business together? I look over to Sally. I'm like, uh, discretion is a part of the contract. Uh, if she is... She... able to say then i'll go along yeah. it looks at you uh she, she looks terrified and she just pulls out um a copy of the order and just hands it to him um let me pop that into chat so everybody else knows what's going on with that um and it's uh, the order that uh was given to you a few days ago It'll be the order page two. There we go. Yeah, particularly page two is the one that you'll really want to know about. Um, massive amounts of these materials. And uh, he goes, he's looking at him, he goes, I, I don't know what this means. Uh, wh what are these for? What do you do with these? And he's... Well, looking. they can be used for uh, many purposes. Uh from my limited experience, because I, I don't generally deal in psychedelics, uh, this could be a part of a, a ritual or kind of like a... Uh, and I kind of look at her, uh, kind of like, you know, making sure that I'm... If she kind of nods in agreement, I'm, I'm going to keep going with it. And she does. Uh, yeah, more she's... for spirit quests. Uh to contact uh, those who have departed or in who are not a part of this. And I do a, a grand gesture of, you know, the living world that we are in. Right. Uh, he's, uh, he's like, I, I, okay, that, that actually, that, that, that stands too. And he looks at me and goes, why so much? Th this, this seems like, um, I mean, how many hundreds of people are we talking about here? Uh, and she's just like, she goes, I only know he wants it and it's important. Uh, you'd have to talk to him beyond that. Who's him? Uh, uh, my employer. Uh, it, it, it's just, he, he's the one that wants to do this. Um, Who's your it's employer? Important. Uh, and I have to go back really quick here. Hold on. Uh, Mr. Triska. Triska. Triksha. Mr. Triksha. Uh, he, he, he... Uh, furiously jotting those the name down. <laughs> it's actually on the bottom of order page one. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> um, he goes, he, he's, 
he's a, an older gentleman, quite elderly. Uh, he, he lives in the uh, Salish village, uh, Salish village north of Portland. Um, that's really all I know about him. He has me buy him things, do menial chores around for him, clean up, mix stuff. Um, and he's just, he's an oddball, but he pays okay, and he wants them. That's really all I know. Now, with uh, Richard being a part of the occult little part of the world, does the name Triksha actual, uh, you know, ring any bells, or is this guy such a recluse that maybe he might be a legend? Um, let's see. Roll an education check for me. Education. I'm highly educated. Yeah. Let's see here. Where am I at? EDs at the top, as opposed to in the skill sets. Hmm. 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 Um. You do know. You have heard the name. Um. He is a fellow who's actually kind of. Used to be very renowned in the occult in the area, but just haven't heard of him for years. He just he just kind of dropped off, you know. Didn't disappear or anything. Just stopped hearing about him. All right, I just kind of tucked that away and less directly asked about it. All right, um, and and he goes, uh, listen, um, I, I've got a lot to deal with here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to set you guys to talking. Um, there, there's a few other people here that I, I have some issues and I have to deal with immediately. Uh, things are going crazy right now. And he goes, uh, listen, um, figure out how you can go talk to this guy. Um, I'll, I'll be right back. And he just kind of steps out of the room and closes the door behind him. And at that point... Mr. Um, Peter, sorry, uh, brain dumped on me. Mr. Sneaky. Yes, Peter, after being abruptly captured and horribly traumatized um, by just the worst night, uh, you were actually taken to the hospital and checked over, um, deemed to be not dying or you know, in horrible shape. Then brought back to, oops, I don't know what happened. In uh, it, 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 at the at the in the morning or afternoon, finally, another police officer comes by. He's not like taking you in to you know punish you or anything. He's like, let's go find out what happened to you. We've uh, we've got some people taking care of the your place. Um, you don't have to go back there. And he. Uh, escorts you into the police station and he goes uh, come with me son we're gonna try and get this sorted out well if, if i'm not gonna have to go back there uh, i still need to get my things well yes but we'll make sure you don't need to go back there yet it, it's 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 not nowhere you need to be right now we'll, we'll we'll get you back there soon though okay kind of side eyes the <laughs> copper <laughs> i will see okay okay he goes there's almost as many police there as there are here anyway he just laughs at you and he starts leading you into the police station and he goes and uh As you go trotting back, you get to about here. Okay. Put some things out so I can see what we're looking at here. Yeah. Uh. So, is there a hunter? Move that home or not? All right. You situated? I guess, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, at this point, you see this very, you know, 
kind of a grim looking man limps out on a cane he goes officer hart is this the one yeah it's him sir all right uh Yes, son, I understand you had a pretty rough night. And how? Uh, well, um, c come with me. Let's uh, see what's going on here. Uh, we'll, we'll try and figure out what's, what, what make, make heads or tails out of what happened. Do, do you know, uh, well, let's wait until we get into private. I, I know you probably don't want to even talk about what all this was. And, uh he leads you over here, and he kind of takes you into this room here. There you go. Whoops. <laughs> there you go. Do we also uh, all of a sudden notice a light going on, and in, in a him and the little and the young young lad in there? Um, or, you, or are we not on that side of the glass? No, act, uh, actually, what your tokens can see is what you can see. Okay. All right. Um, so, um, because you guys are going to do a login, Peter, uh, when you look up, you just see a mirror. So, you only right. see the back of Agent Harper's head. You've never been in a police station. You haven't really heard of this. You're a street smart kid, but you've been street smart enough to stay out of police stations. So, this is kind of new and a little bit scary. But you're not handcuffed or anything like that. He's just kind of sitting down. He's actually, you know, not being like, he's not the, the, the cold interrogator type. So... And he goes, um, son, um, I'm not going to lie. There are people behind the glass. Um, I, I, I want you to just not have to worry about them. Just worry about me. He's going to be looking at, like, like <laughs> looking, and giving goes, a kind of a look. He's like, <laughs> you'll, you'll meet them soon enough. You'll meet them soon enough. And uh, he goes, please... Describe in your own words what happened, and he starts pulling out a piece of pa a pad of paper and taking notes. So you were actually gonna tell me that I wasn't dreaming, that you want to know what I went through. Um. Like I thought I might be dreaming. There are, are two dead people back there. I don't think it was a dream. Yeah. Oh, the noise went out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Kitty cat. I'm gonna kind of, kind of look down, like it, you know, kind of just fidgeting, you know, with his hands, table, and uh, you know, and Ethel. She was kind of a religious woman, you know? And uh, sometimes she talks a bunch of crazy talk, and I thought it was just a bunch of make-believe about demons and such. And uh, I think she might have been right. I don't want to think that, but... They look like demons. Well, what to describe them? What, what, what? How many? What? How big? Uh, just you know, something. So, Give me. I mean, we're talking so, one, two. <laughs> a lot, a lot, sir, a lot. So, I wake up. Well, something on my chest. I am still. I still. I'm. I'm hoping that wasn't. Anethel's hand. But there was something on my chest. It felt like a hand on my chest. Something small, like the size of a cat. And I hear this noise. It scurries across the room, but there's something growling on the other side of the door, trying to come in as it's like sitting there, waiting. Waiting to try to let it in, but it can't because it's too small couldn't see what it was. A little dark in there. 
something just was giving me the heebie-jeebies. It was bad. It was a bad scene. So got Bruno, right? You know, it was like he's holding like a stick. <laughs> not. Oh, what you clubbed our officer with. And he just chuckles. I didn't mean no harm by that. I it's okay, son. It's, it's, a, it's okay, son. I don't blame you a bit. I don't blame you a bit. So I go to back out of my room to go through the rest of my apartment. And they're like, there's a there's hiding in the shadows and stuff, crawling on walls. Doors are ajar. Obviously, they got in because they're, they're there. I'm seeing them, but I still don't know what they are. I can't see them. They're sh shadowy. I go to make it out of of the apartment and I'm hearing them and there's just skittering about, right? <laughs> so he sees, he's kind of like the whole time, like just like right around, just like kind of <laughs> like, out about it. I finally got a good look at it. Like I said, there's not just one, there was a lot of them. It looked like a rat with a man's face. It was the most horrifying little thing I've ever seen. But it didn't try to get me. I tried to get away from there, right? And I look where I'm trying to go and get out of the house, out of the property, into the street. And I see something and it's those little things. And they had Aunt Ethel's head. They're playing like soccer ball with it. But what was so horrifying about it She turned and she looked at me. Her head wasn't on her body and she turned and she locked eyes with me. I don't know what she was saying. Her mouth was talking, but I couldn't comprehend what she was saying. But I did see that she said run. And I knew I had to run and I got the hell out of that place. And that's when your officer grabbed me. I thought it was a bunch of them. And he starts kind of like getting a little teary eyed, but then he like <laughs> he uh amps up and you know hits his fist on the table and just <laughs> <laughs> he continues writing, um, not really ignoring you, but just not acknowledging you, so you can just kind of compose yourself. He's like, "Are we privy to the conversation?" Yes, you can hear this very clearly. And I'm. Fairly positive that uh, as soon as Richard hears the description of the of the creatures, he just goes completely and utterly pale. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, it's Sally's just horrified by this. Uh, Michelle, what's your reaction? <laughs> Call me Dashel. Dashel. I, I literally won't respond because it doesn't register that you're talking. To no me. problem. I'm terrible with names, so that makes it even harder. Dashel. 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 Call him Dash. <laughs> oh, I kind of like that, uh, actually. Dash is, uh, had stopped writing uh, and is sort of peering intently through the one way glass at the kid. Uh, he's got the cigarette dangling from the corner of his mouth. He's got a look on his face like he's trying to figure out if the kid is uh, bullshitting everybody and everybody's just uh, going along with it, or whether the kid genuinely believes what he saw. Uh, well, uh, in that case, do a, uh, a psychology roll for me. All right. Which you can just do. You have a 50. You can just roll a percentile if that's easiest. Yes. Uh, Ooh, 
No, no, hey. that, was, that was sneaky Pete, but it's fine. Yeah, no, no, that's the same. That's, what, that, that's your role, so. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, 13. So, yeah, it's, no, this kid is, he is very sincere. So the kid he, believed what he saw. He believes what he saw, at the very least. But the guy's in the, the guy in the room with him is buying it? He's just taking it down like just regular information. He's not right. saying anything weird to the guy back. Okay, well, I mean, that in and of itself is notable, like... It could oh, be right. yes. <laughs> so kind of, yeah. I gotta get a weird look on my face. Like I don't, I don't understand what's happening here. But I continue to write it down. Um, yeah, that... And does uh, Richard uh, kind of catch what the what the things are that the kid is describing? Uh, well, why don't you roll an occult for me? Ooh, um, not entirely certain, but you, you have heard of these kind of creatures before. Um, not quite like this. There, 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 it, this sounds like something you've heard that like will haunt and torment people. Um, you're not familiar with them, like working, they're always alone just about that you've ever heard of. You never heard of but masses never, of them. Never in a group. Not like this. This is, this is weird. Um, you know that they, they, they go by many names, but they all tend to be like the rat thing or the rat man. Um, those are the names that you're familiar with, anyway. Old Scratch. <laughs> um, and it, but you've never, you've only heard of them described as individuals and like. But not not something in mass like this at all. It's you're not even sure that it's the same thing, but it sounds like it. All right. Um, I might have to consult the library if if it's still there. <laughs> um, he is he is gonna be like, wait, I, I one more thing. I, I I you have to know. I. <clears throat> Whatever was on that other side of that door sounded way different and way bigger. And I don't think anyone wants to see what was on the other side of that door. It sounded big and it sounded way more menacing than those little rat things. So it, uh, you, you never saw what broke down that back door? It broke the back door down? Uh, something broke down the back door. Your back door you know, to, to the you know that little porch out back of your apartment. Uh, yeah. Something broke in through that door. It, it literally tore the door off the hinges. I, I got out of there when I did. Well, sounds like you're very lucky, young man. And he continues jotting it down. Um, right, hold on just a moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, he goes, uh, well, uh, Peter, uh, why don't you come with me? I've got some people I want you to meet. Um, I, I, I need you to understand something. Um, we've looked into what little we could in the few hours we've had. Um, you, you do realize that uh, once everything's cleaned up, those apartments, that whole building is yours now, right? It is. Uh, you're 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 the only person left. You inherit everything. It's not huge, but yeah, you 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 don't have to worry about where you're living now for sure. Here, come with me. Um, I got some people you want to meet. He just kind of is just dumbfounded. <laughs> yeah, and, and just kind of has a stupid look on his face. Yeah. And uh, as Agent Harper stands up, he kind of looks at all of you through the glass even though he can't see you and you see him step out of the room and he comes walking back i'm supposed to be following aren't yeah I? yep yep yeah, he just oh okay okay <laughs> <laughs> 
Go on in, Peter. Kind of shows you into the room. And he'll come through here and take a pain seat on the couch there, if that's what it is. Looks like a couch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And he goes, well, uh, um, this happened last night. Uh, um, he told you what happened. Um, the body of his aunt was found. I'm sorry, son. Uh, and in the condition that he described, uh, as well as the tenant that lived above her, uh, was also found uh, in the same condition uh, on, in, in their bedroom. Uh, I, I don't even, I, I have a few police over there and some people cleaning the place up. Um, there, there, there was, uh, another note, uh, found there. It's in police. It's, it's in transit. We'll get it to you as soon as possible. I need you to find out something. Uh, that, that man went after you, uh, Miss Sally for a reason. Uh, it can't have been a coincidence um, that w w we, uh, we we've done a little bit of interrogating uh, I I as soon as we know more we'll tell you but go ask the person that talked to you or that that placed the order and please figure out what he's doing I, I there's something with this this is too weird to be coincidental um, and I would like these people to accompany you uh, dash if I may call you that, uh, I, I Certainly. You, you, imagine that you, well, imagine that you're in the situation that you're in right now. Uh, you are going to have to be my representative. You are in a way working for the government as are you all welcome aboard gentlemen. Uh, I, I, I wish I had more, but I literally just got word that I've got another murder in the tunnels down by the Shanghai docks, and I, it, there's nobody left. I have to go personally. Um, I'm going to leave you here. Uh, please do what you can. Time is of the essence. Things are getting very dangerous out there. And yes, I am this desperate. This is ridiculous that I have to do this. And he just steps out and closes the door um, and goes about doing whatever it is he has to do. Well, how do you like that? I just got deputized. And last I checked, government men trump local law enforcement every time. I try not to make those kind of waves. I mean, I've got a, uh, I've got a, a sh shop to run. I've got clientele, and some of them are from the uh, the nicer parts of uh, town. I mean, the police chief's uh, wife was supposed to be in there later today to do a reading. Oh, the police chief's wife, you say? <laughs> yeah, oh, Catherine Jenkins. Well, you know, she 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 likes look looking at the uh, the ahead. You know, trying to get a good picture of uh, what her finance is going to be, or if uh, you know everything's on the up and up in her in her personal life. So you were the one going to be doing the reading, then. Well, yes. And what exactly do you read? What is it? The tea leaves, cards, palms. Cards, palms. We do seances. Yeah, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a man about a, about about a horse. You're versatile. Oh yes. Uh, and uh, that pays good money, does it? It 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 keeps the bacon on the table. All right. A uh, uh, gentleman, uh, uh, Agent uh, Harper. Uh, let's see. You definitely got to find out uh, what this Mr. Trishka is all about. Maybe it all has something to do with him. I, I can't imagine he doesn't talk to well, anybody, I Sally says. Between what happened to your place and uh, uh, what happened to your shop. What? True. Well, um... I, I, I will say, if I, if I was a different man, I would have probably gone mad too by looking in the face of those 
fat demon things. You're a strong lad, I tell you that. Uh, I, I'm probably uh, wouldn't wouldn't be uh, too good. I'd be a puddle. <laughs> uh, and when you say rat demon things, uh, how big are we talking? Size of a cat. Huh? That's the size of cats. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've been to New York City and uh, I've seen they got some rats down by the wharf the size of a it's, small dog. It's like no rat you've ever seen. Well, they imagine. have faces of men on that grotesque end. And about that time, and Richard. Hear chattering whispers. And about mean, that we're... time, R Richard uh, looks over at the door. Oh, yes, officer. Uh, yeah, yeah, Agent. Uh, Agent Harper wanted me to uh, make sure. That can't you... hear you, Chris. Oh, what's going on with my audio? Now? Nothing? I can hear you. Huh. Uh, yep, no, nope, we've lost him. That's weird. You can't oh, hear there you, are. There you are. Oh, okay. All right. That was, that was really weird. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Uh, Harper said you should have this. Uh, just please don't be careful with it. We, this, the, we find these notes. And they're not, well, they're not notes. They're just these really strange things that, at all of these locations. And at that point, he, uh, no, where's that fragment? No. No, that one's not available yet. Uh, well, good man, do you have any gloves? Uh, uh, yes, I will. Hold on just a moment. Uh, but he holds up a folder and it's, it's, Paperclip to the folder so that it, it you can open the folder and look at it. And All right. Let me pop this together real quick. And and unless uh, Dashell uh, uh, is uh, reaches out uh, faster than I do, uh, uh, since I'm closer to to the officer, I, I reach out my hand for it. All right. And let's see here. Do -do, asset library. Uh, up up. Handouts, journal pages. There we go. <coughs> Give me a moment. There we go. And he shows you this image. He goes, This was found uh, a few days ago at a where a, a family of a uh, Chinese workers was found killed. We keep finding them. They're all ripped out of what appears to be the same book. And we find one in almost every location where there's been one of these horrific murders. We don't know who this is. We don't know where it came from. And let you look at it. And that is now. can look at that at any time. I'm setting its ownership to you guys. And it is under journal entries. Do we happen to know who this Annabelle person is? Never heard of her. Don't know anything about it. Uh, that's literally all we know is what you see on this piece of paper. All right. So do any of the words on here actually trip trip some uh, warning uh, warnings an, in the brain or or the uh, the symbols uh, make an occult roll and we shall see This, these are definitely arcane symbols of some kind, but you've never seen them in particular before or in this combination, and nothing about it really triggers you. Um, you have no idea what this is. Are we able to take this with us, or is this a part of police evidence that needs to stay here? Uh, 
he said to give it to you. I guess what you do it is up to you. Um, I, I, I recognize some of these symbols, and I think there might be something in one of my books. Um, well, whatever you need to do, and he rushes off to go about his work. Poor man. Uh, so, so you know, this is Sally. What, what, uh, what do we do? What, what do you think we should do? And of course, well, d during the course of this, you know, after I've kind of really absorbed what's in the uh, the the note, I kind of show it around to everyone else. Okay. So that way they, they can also have a good hmm. idea. And, 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 of course, I also kind of gauge them on how they react to it as they read it. All right. Um, well, that depends on what everybody else does, I would imagine. Um, you guys well, can... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, do you take it, look at it, read it, you know? Yeah, like... yeah I was going to say, uh, Dash takes the paper and looks at it. Um... Uh, I'm assuming that with his, you know, light occult score, that he recognizes it as some sort of magic circle. Possibly. Why don't you go ahead and roll an occult and let's see what happens. All right. Let's see. I believe my occult is a whopping 30. 35. Ooh. Mm hmm in your case, I'll, if you wish, I'll let you roll on history, because you have a 40 on it. Alrighty. Ooh. <laughs> Either way, it just... It's, can I push that? Uh, you certainly can. Um... I'm going to uh, flip through one of my notebooks and see if it. Uh, I pull out one of my uh, secondary notebooks and uh, for some of my stories, I, I, he does some 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 of the series that he's done have uh, you know have to do with like witchcraft and, right. and the, the occult um, ghost stories and stuff. Uh, makes me gives me a second <laughs> shot at making the roll. Nope. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't a critical fail, but yeah, well, oh, it kind of, but well, kind of by default. But yeah, you have just, you can't find anything. Um, would you like to push your role, Richard? Yeah, we can, we can do that. Right. I mean, I've, uh, I've got my, uh, let's see here. Seems like the scrawlings of a madman to me. Imagine that, yes. <laughs> Seriously, again, <It's> fifty-seven. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm only seven points shy of being of, of being where I need to be. You do have no, luck. I, I, you do. You do have luck. Don't forget. Oh, that's right. I do have luck. All right. How do we use the luck? Are you one for one. You just take seven points of luck away. And uh, then you get to add it to your roll. And that would give you an, a pass. All right. There we go. There's my luck. Yeah, figure out what the difference is that you needed to just make the roll. And then subtract that many points from your luck stat. Which is seven, which would bring you down to 58 on your luck. 58. There we go. Okay. I have now passed. <laughs> Uh, this appears, uh, you know, you're not, you're not super familiar with it, but by the way it's laid out and all the symbols are reacting with each other and the way they tie together, um, it feels like a, kind of like a summoning circle. Um, something that you would do that is a combination of protection and summoning. Um, it doesn't feel like something that you would associate with sacrifice, though. It's very odd that it would be at the site of a murder. This is something that would be at a site where you are protecting something and keeping something bad from happening. Uh, 
That's mm. really about all you can pull from it, as far as looking at the symbol. Say any of that to the rest of us? Well, it's some form of summoning circle, but these, and he points out to a couple of the other symbols, are more for protecting you while you're doing the summoning. But the language around here... I've seen it, but I don't know what it is. Summoning what exactly? That you're unclear about. That I would have to consult some of the uh, some of the journals, maybe that uh, are in the shop, or uh, I would have to maybe write to a few people that uh, might know a tiny bit more at the uh, the university. Uh, didn't he say that there were more pages like this? This is what the the note is saying that there are some more pages. This looks like something out of a journal. Well, whoever Annabelle is is the uh, definite uh, author of the journal. Where was this one found? He, he said did, where did, people did, were did murdered. Did he say that, that it was found at the... Uh... He said it was found at a murder scene of a Chinese migrant family. Did you say anything about a paper? Um, when you recounted your story? No, I did not, because okay. that wasn't something that he was really focused <laughs> on. But... Speaking of that, he ain't trying to read them or anything, but he is going to be looking and be like, is it just asking you uh, out of character a moment? Yeah. Does it look familiar? Does it look like the paper that was with the hand on me? Would I have been able to notice that? Um, let's see. How would I want to yeah, handle I it this question? Yeah, it's uh, weird. Hmm. What? I'll tell you what, uh, make a, an int check, an, uh, yeah, an intelligence check. 60. So you go below 60. Mm -hmm. That's 60 or below. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's a... I, 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 uh, you reckon immediately it, it flashes into your brain that in the panic as you were you know brushing this off it felt like old parchment just like this looks like it was too dark to see there's nothing that your you know your brain can't see what it couldn't see right but it felt the right size the right texture you're you're sure there is a page of this journal sitting on your bed right now. You're, you're positive about he's, it. He's going to reach out, just not even when y'all are y'all are doing, you know, talking all. He's going to reach out and touch it and hold it a minute. And not and necessarily sudden, reading it, just holding it and touching it to feel it. R he's Richard like, like freezes and <laughs> watches what happens. <laughs> Uh, it just feels like paper. Say, that feels like the paper that was with my aunt's hand that was on my chest when I woke up. A paper? You didn't say anything about a paper? I, I, why would I be concerned about a paper when there was some demon thing in my room. I mean, that's a valid point. <laughs> I, I had to just worry about Bruno so that I could defend myself as I skedaddled out. I'm sorry, who's Bruno? A stick. A stick has a name. Darn tootin'. 
Well, all right. Must be a powerful stick. Well, it has. I have skill. Anyways, so. <laughs> Build in stick. That sounds to me like we need to make a trip back to your place. It might even still be on my bed, unless whatever that broke through that the door of my room moved it. Well, we could always check to see with the officers since this happened last night to see if they've bagged it for evidence. And Richard will kind of go out into the main bullpen area and uh, try to flag down an officer to ask them uh, if they had uh, recovered any uh, notes or parchments at the uh, at the apartment complex that uh, uh, Peter was found in. Um, Harper comes uh, limping over and he's like, uh, what's up? What do you need? Uh, Peter has uh, brought some uh, interesting news in. Uh, he believes that he had a, a, a piece of parchment just like this one uh, in his apartment. Really? And he looks over at you like uh, a small piece of paper like, like this one. And he, you know, kind of pointing at the folder in uh, Rich's hand. Right, mister. Uh, Just like this one. Well, the, the, the police, I, I got word they cleared the scene, but all they did was kind of, not to be unsubtle, is clean up the worst of the mess. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're scrambling. Uh, find it. I think maybe we need to take a trip over there and check the place out. I need to get my things anyhow. Did they collect a hand? The, all, all, as far as I know, that should all be taken care of. I can't promise right. you, but it should be taken care of. And uh, he goes, yeah, if that's what you need to do, go do it. Uh, and he, he leaves again. Hey, hey, mister. Yes. Where is Bruno anyway? Can uh, I have my stick back? He reaches back into his pocket. And he goes, I had a feeling. And he hands it to you. He goes, try not to hit any more police officers about it. They get a little touchy. Thanks, mister. Uh, he goes uh, steps back in uh, can you do me a favor can you look after him um, unfortunately there are a lot of new orphans flooding the system and I think he might be better off uh, with a little more personalized care and, uh, oh what do you say Pete you with us uh, Pete's working in the factory <laughs> That's right, you're a government na man now. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Uh, hey, Harper. Yeah. Cash falls out the door. <laughs> Get us a car. Uh, I'll do what I can. And uh, he kind of shoes over and uh, see him heading out into the police bullpen and start to. Uh, Talking to another officer. Comes back in a few minutes. Really just throws you a set of keys. And he goes, I've got the new Model T out front. Use it. I'll just grab a police car. Don't wreck Ooh. it, please. We're riding in style, boys. <laughs> he goes, Our budget isn't that big. Be nice. <laughs> All right. I'm driving. Dash gets up and walks towards the front of the building. <laughs> a following suit. <laughs> All right. So, um, is Sally coming with us? She is coming with you. Yes, because she's kind uh, of. I, I would hope so. She, she, she's a, she's kind of a person that that needs to be protected. She's a person of interest. We had questions for her. There you go. Let's we could here. maybe hit her on the ride over. Uh, so where are you going? Uh, we're we're going to his uh, to to Pete's aunt's yeah. rooming house. Going to the apartments. All right. Uh, 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 miss, I think you should take shotgun. 
<coughs> I don't think we got any shotguns in here, kid. No, I'm talking about the seats. Up front. Oh, kids in your, your crazy lingo. Give me a moment. I have to delete a bunch of tokens that are uh, no longer being used on that map. <laughs> uh, God, these things were everywhere, weren't they? <laughs> we got the bookstore. We got the, let's see, we got the family, Chinese, the Chinese family murder. I'm about to pull okay. you in. Uh, I've got a map that I'm going to pull you into in just a moment. Go with you, uh, not him. You, you. And I am missing one more. Where is she? there? We go, Sally. One, two, three. Right back. One, three. Okay. And so I will pull everybody. Are the um are all the cops gone from the premises now? Yeah, at this point there's no police left. Um and uh and all tenants are dead and gone. <laughs> just about, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, what like, time are of day is it? Tenants left? Uh it is, let's see, it was afternoon before, so we'll say it is getting towards um yeah, it's about three in the afternoon. The the game clock is actually right in this case. All right. And you find yourself uh, outside. Just cut. You just stepped in the gate, and uh, Richard can lead you because he came running out of here recently. Uh, he could actually lead you down the stairs to take you to his apartment. You mean Pete. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, follow me. <laughs> and uh, those of you who don't know, if you just click on stairs, it'll maneuver you uh, to the next portion of the map. All right. And, uh, the stairs are whoops, right there. There you go. The stair icon. Whoops. Ah. <coughs> right there. Can you can you see the icon? Can you see it right there? Yeah. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and drag you over. And and if you click on this icon right here, it'll take you to the other part of the map. Go? Yeah, so I had to had to go down there, and I'm pretty sure it was down there, and it comes here. But oh, this is outside. This is the front oh, okay. windows. These okay. are the front windows. Yeah, just uh, if you actually click on this little the, stair icon, stair it'll right pop you over. Oh nope. Okay. You're on the wrong what? floor. Nope, you're on the wrong floor. Can you see the stair icon where I'm uh, pinging? No. Oh. Right there. There's no icon. That's probably why. I wonder why it's not showing up. There you go. I just moved you. And Pete, uh, boop, you yeah. as well. All right, you are now on your floor for your apartment. Now, I kind of take a, a stock of what the outside looks like. I mean, is there, like, blood stain? Is the window smashed in? Uh, you see a small, uh, one of the front windows is broken, one of the single panes. Um, All right. You don't really see, didn't see any blood. It looks like you know, the the sidewalk was wet, and oh. you could see broom marks where things look like they've been cleaned up. Um, let me adjust that. The doors, of course, are not just standing open. They would have been shut behind everybody. And there we go. I get over to the broken pane and kind of look inside. Kind of listen actually don't hear anything it's, it's quiet all right come on sally Ashel just heads on in yeah all right uh, that's okay you, <laughs> you you can do that <laughs> this is this is not a nice apartment it is quite run down paint is peeling 
You can kind of tell there's some mold probably in the corners. Um, but, you know. Probably for a 14-year-old kid, it's probably, you know, best he can do. Inside, you can see where, yeah, it's back the way you expect a young kid who's just on his own. You know, so he looks like he could have been scavenging some furniture off the street that people were throwing away, and he's using it in his fireplace for warmth. Uh, so he doesn't have to buy or stack firewood. But it is kind of messy. Is the fire yeah. still going? Um, well, no, but, you know. No, all right. Come on. <laughs> Give me a break, man. There we go. Did you delete Sneaky Pete's token? I didn't intend to. Did it? No, I guess. Right here. Van, if we can't see it. Oh, yeah, it disappeared. Well, it's, he's not in the room with you. Um, do you see him there? Oh, there there we go. go. Yeah, there he is. So, I mean, I definitely have Bruno in my hands. Um, and I'm going to just see, like, you know, like, kind of like with Bruno, like pointing off, yeah, there was one over here, there was one over there, you know, as, as he's walked from outside all through, taking them through, he's like kind of a tour, you know, like, right. yeah, no one was here, this is where that was, this is, you know, that and, kind of thing. And when you get to the back door, you see where it's literally just been boarded over um, with heavy wood, uh, nailed shut, so you're not going to be able to use that door at this time for sure. I mean, it's not unless you use tools. Uh, but other than that, uh, things are cleaned up, uh, you know, depending on which rooms you go into. Right. Where, where, so, where's, where was your bed? Yeah, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you there. See. This way. And was there any, like, claw marks or anything that uh, to be honest this place is kind of so dingy it's hard to say um, if you'd like to make a spot hidden check though we will spot the hidden things I don't know how to move this so I can see as it moves around I'm trying to uh, it's the right the right button on the mouse you hold it down. Eh, no. Grabs the map. Grabs the map. Okay, That's awesome. how you move. Okay. Uh, this okay. place is kind of a a mess. The paint's already peeling. The floor is already scuffed and scratched from years of neglect. So you really you don't pick up on anything. But it's not really your expertise, you know. And I take it a uh, this door to the south here is is the, the one that's is the up, one. Yes. That's the one that's boarded up. Yep. Any, like, obvious claw marks around where it's not boarded up? As I said, you can't, you don't really spot anything. I mean, are you looking for specifically scratch marks around the door? Yeah, because, I mean, it, 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 uh, something busted in, and it might have left some type of track or some type of, uh, do, yeah, you go know. ahead and do. You can go ahead and do another spot hidden then. No, nothing going on here. <laughs> well, well. Dash Dashiell is going to do a complete general search of the front room, and the kitchen looking for anything unusual or anything that corroborates the kid's story all right well let's start um, we'll, we'll, we'll start at the top and work our way down while you're in the kitchen go ahead and roll a spot hidden for me all righty no you get a splinter in your eye but other than that you know, <laughs> other than that you don't really uh, yeah, it, it, uh well let's see You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna handle this one a little bit differently. Um, you're sure that whatever happened, the, 
went from inside. The, it broke the window from the inside. You're convinced of that, okay. which may or not may or not be true. But other than that, that's For that's. Sure. So, but you're absolutely convinced of that. Well, I'm still on the fence about there being demons, so uh, I'm, I'm looking for, like, anything that, that disproves that theory at this time. <laughs> wasteful dash. <laughs> I don't know why it says that. <laughs> I am not wasteful. Uh, I think <laughs> it's... Wasteful, maybe. I, I think I know what's happening, and it's freaking hilarious. It's actually a module. Um, okay, um, I'll, I'll deal with that later. I, I'm just going to run with it because it's fun. Um, if you would do another spot hidden check for me in the living room. Alrighty. Much better. Uh, what is your spot hidden? 60. 60. Oh, okay. Um, in this, you, you, uh, you notice that uh, in some of the dustier corners... Uh, you actually find like little, very very raccoon-like uh, footprints in the dust. Only the front, the, the, one pair of them appear even more human-like than a raccoon. Because a raccoon is very, you know, it almost looks like a little handprint. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is even more so. The, the What would be the thumb is way out, unlike a raccoon's would be. About the size of a raccoon, uh, like a baby raccoon, a kit, a big, you know, a, a kit. Okay. Interesting. Any idea where they're coming from? Uh, I got in. There's just tracks kind of around where they traverse the room. Um, you can't really tell which way they're coming or going from. You know, they just right. you know one set going this way and then another one come back on top of it going the other, things like that. Okay. And uh, so, and if you want to continue uh, into the other rooms, you may. Or yeah, you can yeah. Stop there. I'll into the room with the with the rest of them. All right. I'm going to my bed and around my bed um, when you get to me. Okay. Um, well, yeah, you can. You, you, where I threw it off. I would like both of you to make a spot hidden. Uh, you with advantage, uh, Pete, because this is your bedroom. What is this? Spot hidden is a 55. When you go to the roll, do it twice. Uh, uh, you do uh, or you do a, uh, an additional 10, and we use that as the you know the oh. best one of those those two becomes uh, that. So roll the two first, and we'll see how it goes. No problem. Yeah, I wasn't rushing you. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hurry up! Come on now! No. Spot <laughs> hidden. Want it with oh. um, oh, wait. bonus die yes. plus one. Yep. Right. That that means advantage. Oh. One bonus Basically, die. yeah. It's 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 slightly different than D and D, but essentially yes. Six. Oh. So what that's gonna do? Uh, let me go back over here and see what the roll is. That you rolled for me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What did you get? Uh, you got a 64. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, yeah, that was actually a terrific. Well, you're still very upset. Being back in the room brings back this horrifying because memory. So if you want to bring that to a, uh, a success, uh, you're off by nine points. You, you do that, or you could push the roll. You just can't use luck after that. I'd use luck to guarantee a success. Bucks at 45, so you would uh, in there. Not on this character sheet. This is the PDF. I'm going to go down here. Over, over the window right there. Um, I will tell you, before you get too far into burning through all of your luck, They're all yeah. <laughs> is I will, allow you to, I will allow you to try again. It just takes more time. See this right there? Yeah. That's you. I click on it. Well, I'm not burning my luck, though. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to try no, again first. Oh, okay. oh, in the meantime, uh, since you're, you know, Pete's going to keep at it. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to be pulling my sheets up right. and you're... looking around, like, okay. yeah. And just, and... like, kind of, like, looking, like, on the side or underneath the bed, 
being Maybe it's an like extended effort, um, you'll re-roll yeah. after Dashiell. Um, yeah. And uh, Dashiell, you're going to go ahead and you're going to look around while you see him doing this, kind of watching and seeing what yep. you can find. All right. Uh, it's saying it lacks permission. Um, just roll the uh, the uh, percentile or the you know the and we'll see what you do. Woo. Uh, yeah, I got a sixteen. Yeah, see, it's good not having permission. That's a hard success. That is a hard success. Um, as he's doing it, you catch. Um, apparently, they just kind of tossed it aside, uh, and like right up on the edge of his bed, you just barely see the corner of a piece of paper sticking up. I think you're looking for this, kid, and I'm going to snag it. And indeed, it is yet another page of the journal. Uh, let me pull. Oh, well, well, the plot thickens. Indeed it does. Um, and I have to go to a different page here for a moment. Where is my Google Drive? The first journal page, was that from the Chinese family attack? Um, the first journal page, oh, the um, the fragment that's burnt? Yeah. The burnt fragment, no, was that was from the store. It came, came from, from my store. The, uh, the the one that has the uh, the, the circle uh, came from the, uh, the Chinese family. Yeah. Uh, gotcha. There it is. Give me a moment to pull this because I have to do a little cut and paste here real quick. There it is. <coughs> and this I'm going to pop into uh, here. I have to make the, uh, the, the fancy sexy image up, but this one is another similar symbol similar to... Uh, but not the same as the one on the other page. Uh, and this time, you see this uh, is written in the text. And the rest of it is uh, obliterated. Or, uh, Went away. The, oh, it's, it's also in the chat window. Okay. Uh, I was selected as Sally. Ignore the fact it wasn't... And let, well, she read it aloud to you. That's it. Yes, yeah, she read it aloud. Uh, there's a symbol at the top of the page, and then this. Uh, actually, the symbol is kind of written over it lightly. Uh, ew, that would have put this somewhere in the late 1800s, wouldn't it? Um. Well, doing that, that was a recent history for all of you, and you, particularly being an author, um, mid-1800s, anywhere from like uh, 1850 to 1880 was kind of the, you know, it, that was the period it was used greatly, uh, especially by, you know, wagons and things like that. Uh, this is probably like 1850-something. Okay. Civil War. Yeah. It's the same exact kind of paper, like the same handwriting as the it other It looks ones. like another page from the same journal. You're reasonably okay. confident of that, yes. <laughs> yeah, handwriting's the same. Ink's almost the same. Paper's the same. Did they say... Want to know. Did they say... that there was only one page per scene? Um... Yes. Pretty much that's, you get the impression that's what they were implying. They didn't give you a whole, I mean, it was so rushed. They're, they're in a state there, but yeah, that's kind of the impression you get. So I was just wondering if maybe there might be more of those in the other apartments in this building. Might be a good idea to check the other apartments maybe. You tell me what you're doing. <laughs> well, 
Well, Dash, what do you think? I don't know what to think, to be honest with you. Seems like uh, whoever uh, wrote this journal, somebody named Annabelle, is uh, clearly uh, traveling with some pioneer family, uh, you know, sometime last century. I don't know why these pages have been left here. Seems like it's intentional, though. That it does. Uh, well, I'm Pete... thinking maybe we should take a look and see where, uh, you know who, uh, you know what. He, he's like nodding at the kid. Yeah, Pete, uh, were there other people li living here as well? Where was your aunt staying? Come on, uh, I'll take you. You sure that's a good idea, Pete? I mean, uh, you know they cleaned up the mess, but we don't exactly know how much. I'm okay, I'm you stay a, here. I'm a strong man. I mean, nobody's uh, nobody's saying you ain't. Somebody's gonna have to go through, and it's my house now, so I have to be responsible, right? I I, uh, I can't argue with that. All right, lead on. All right. And just so for your own information, she, uh, the the floor that you arrived in when you first were there, that's her apartment. She's uh, just one floor above you. Gotcha. All right. Do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can actually. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, that's right. I was going to do something. Uh, no. Okay. Why is the police ambient sound still playing? <laughs> That's really annoying. You have live in a very busy God, I got used to it. <laughs> yeah, it's like if something occurred to me, I'm like, no, that's not right. There we go. And if you want to shortcut it, you can just click on that icon. It'll take you up there. There we go. The icon. The, the stair. Oh, that's right. It, it doesn't do that to you. All right. Hold on. I can do this easily. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. And I can even do that. All right. All right. And you do have a key to this because you've had to let yourself in for whatever reasons on occasion. So you can actually open the door and go in. Yeah. And this is a, a much nicer uh, apartment, very, very modestly kept, you know, um, nothing extremely special about it. Which is this. All right, anything of obvious note? Um, the mattress is gone. Um, and you can tell that the floor was stained uh, and cleaned, uh, but the mattress apparently could not be salvaged and has been removed. Uh, there are several places in the house where it's obvious that some deep cleaning was done on both the carpet, the walls, the doors. They actually did a good job cleaning up, uh, but it looks like it was extensive. Uh, take it we're in a, a foyer or at least i am yeah uh this right right here is the actual door to the house and there's okay. stairs going up to other apartments on this uh little table i'm right next to is are there actual letters or is it uh, not anything on there 
Um, it's other people's mail. Um, okay. Yeah. I left a couple of rats. <laughs> Just spotted them. It's like an infestation. Um, and yes, you see, it's, uh, you know, it also goes up to the the next floor, which is where the main bedroom is. She has a much nicer apartment, obviously. Because there's a little set of stairs in here. Can you see the icon for the stairs in uh, this one? Um, up here? Yeah. I'm sorry? Yeah. yeah, now I can. Yeah, if you click on that, it should take you to the second floor of the apartment. This, this apartment has two. Yeah, her bedroom's up there. I don't see it anymore. I did yeah. see it, but I don't see it now. Oh, no, wait, I, I see it now. Um, right there? Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to get up in there. Okay, it's because of the way the walls are. Here, I'll take it. I, I, I don't see it. Here, uh, boop. Now you can. There it is. It's at the top of the stairs. Okay. There you go. Oh, it's because of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving you, sorry. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. It should move you. You have to select your token and then click on it. Oh. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you off of it. And the maps aren't as important, so if you get hung up on a map, just holler and I'll move you or whatever. So it's it's Anything just there of a to make note. It. In this room? Um, do me a favor and give me an appraisal roll. Appraisal? Appraisal, yes. Hi. The token was already in there, now oh, it's there. back. Oh. <laughs> I was right here. Here, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Bing. Uh, seems Not nice. so much. Yeah, no, seems nicely appointed, you know, but nothing weird. Uh, give me a spot hidden check as well. Who are you talking to? Uh, that would be to uh, uh, Richard. I, uh, I'm pretty much oblivious. I'm, I'm looking at the Tiffany lamp. It's, yeah. It looks great. I'm not too certain if it is, in fact, actually Tiffany, but, uh, you know, it looks, it looks nice. nice. It looks nice, yes. So, but, yeah, that's uh, you don't really see anything too much there. Her bedroom, of except for the mattress and kind of being a Kimbo and things out of place a little bit, you know, it's mostly sorted. So which one was her room? Uh, north end of the second floor map of the, you know, or the the second floor of the oh, apartment. Oh, north end. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, you made it already in here. Yeah, she's quick. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's up here is the bedroom. Well, I guess we'll start uh, looking around in this room to see if we can locate another parchment or some uh, evidence. Well, uh, anybody that would like to try may make a spot hidden check. The, the bed the mattress itself and all the the, the bedding is gone okay Ooh. hey I got a good roll um well uh, aside from a, a marital aid let's say in a drawer <laughs> um, which you stumbled upon quite embarrassingly uh I don't judge <laughs> you don't judge uh there is a there really is nothing of a remark in here uh, ex except for um, a piece of paper um, with the uh, oh, what's the name uh, Stephen Brooks um, and a address hold on let me Jotting down notes as I do this. 
Steven Brooks, which is which is Peter's last name. Um, and uh, da, da, da. and it is a St. Louis address. St. Louis address. Did you know your father? Um, his name was Steve, as far as you knew. No. No, it wasn't. Wasn't? No. <laughs> it wasn't? No, no it was... Um... Pe oh, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry, it's, I got... Uh, no, it's not Peter Brooks? No, my name is Peter Brooks, but his father was Rupert. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. That's that yeah. should have been okay. It should have been Rupert. Okay. Uh, got you. Got you. So many names. All right. I apologize. So yes, it just says Stephen Rupert with a St. Louis address, which I will make up later. St. Louis address. Yep. And who's holding that? Richard's holding that. Uh, Richard has it. Yes. To snatch it out of his hand. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> you go right on ahead. Uh, puts his hands up in placation. Um, uh, but that's really about the only thing of note in here that you spotted. All right. I'm gonna look around as well. After after he kind of like grimaces, growls, you know, mm -hmm. huffs, <laughs> can get this. Well, uh, go ahead and hit a, spot, hit, hit a spot. Hit a spot hidden yourself uh, because you know you know you know your aunt a little bit better than anybody else. You might know where she might hide stuff. So go ahead and make a another spot hidden roll and see what happens. Um. No. No, she. You weren't in this room very often. This is very, she's a private woman. Well, I guess they're right, unless you want to go and look at the other, uh, other apartments that uh, people in makeup, but they didn't tell me who they were. No, they did not. They did not. Um, you know that there is actually um, an apartment above still. It goes up, you know, another story. And there is an apartment there that is occupied. And there is an apartment on the floor above that. But nobody's been there in years as far as you know. There's four apartments total? Uh uh, five apartments, actually. Well, yeah, four apartments, four apartments. Four apartments, and there is a basement, and there is, yeah. Because your aunt's has two floors. All the, the other ones are one-floor apartments above that, and yours below, and then a basement. Say, it's a door that's locked over here. Oh, that shouldn't be locked. Actually, that just goes outside to the uh, the stairwell outside. Oh, so there's a, there's an additional door to get uh, down or up. Right. You can actually go out this door into the L into the stairway lobby, and uh, go directly and enter an exit apartment this way as well. So it basically has two okay. doors in and out. Okay. And you could actually go down from there to the floor or go up to the next apartments from here. Um, he's not looking for uh, notes at this point. He's just looking to see, like, where she might have had her jewelry box or her money hidden <laughs> because he wants to make sure to uh, get a hold of that. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, and what I'll do is I'll give you some uh, loot afterwards, you know, so to speak. Yeah. Um, Loot for aunt. And it's not loot, it's an inheritance. Uh, 
Exactly. It's an like, inheritance. You gotta make sure, you know, while while this is all going on, he's still got business to attend to. Apparently, that he doesn't know what he's doing, but he's gonna pretend like he does. Um, Sally uh, is kind of wandering around. She's like, "What? What do we do after? What? I, I'm I'm lost, and I really need to talk to uh, my employer. He's he's gonna be worried. I I, I think I need to go." Well, well. I, I call down the hall. We'll get there. Okay, I, I'm. And, I, and, I, and I'm checking out the, I guess, the bathroom to see if there's anything of note. Yeah. Some very. Sally, tell what? me again what it was you were sent to the bookstore to look for. Uh, he, he, he uh, uh, Mr. Rich is uh, known a lot of us by, you know, a lot, a lot of the, you know, my peoples and other peoples by herbs and rocks and things like that that we use for both ceremonies and medicine um, he's kind of a you know it's, he's an important part of the town for us uh, I was sent to order a lot of stuff that was the shopping list that we'd seen before right yes 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 we, we all saw it um, I should you know he showed it around I mean you actually still have it so it's I'm assuming that where that note is, you've got a file going and you're keeping stuff together at this point. Okay. Uh, and uh, participate in these ceremonies? Uh, well, you know, my, my family, of course. I was, I was raised in this. Never, never, I've never used some of the stuff on the list, though. I, the, the black, the dark water. I've, I've never had it in my life. I don't know what it's like even. I don't even know what it tastes like. Um, but, you know, sage. We use sage for everything. I missed something. Is she white? No, no, no. She's a native. She's a First uh, a First Nations. Nation. Yeah. Okay. Um, and her employer's name is Mr. Trishka? Yes. Sally, what sort of uh, what sort of man is your employer? Don't you tell me about Mr. Trishka. Well, he's a grumpy old man. He keeps to himself, and uh, you know, he 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 helps you know with ceremonies once in a while when they uh, can't find something you know odd you know materials and stuff because he's really good with that. Um, he spends a lot of time in libraries and. He's done a little bit of traveling, but that's really about it. I mean, he's just the, the old guy that, you know, like clean up for him and make errands. That's really about it. He leads these ceremonies. No, no, no. Nobody likes him that much. He just helps when occasion. Your family and your people, they, they participate in these ceremonies. Just, uh, I mean, some, most of us, not everybody, it's but like most a religion. of us. Yes, yes. It's you know just like, you you have your church, we have ours. Well, I don't really. I'm not really a church going man myself. Yeah, to each their own. But yes, that's, and you know he he just kind of, he fiddles about. <laughs> that's really all he does. Where does he live? He, he lives out in my village, out in the, our little town that we have. It's up uh, kind of across from Port Vancouver, on the other side, of the, on, on this side of the river, though. I see. Just north of here. Well, you know, most of a day to travel there because, uh, you know, the we don't have a, a road that a car can get down um, very easily, unfortunately. So you have to go on foot for the last bit. So it takes a while. It's it's a it's a, a day. You have no idea why this gentleman who attacked you. Uh, never seen him before. You would never uh, nothing about him struck you as familiar. I've never seen him before in my life. Let's see. Uh, well, I I have to tell you, Sally. Uh, and the severity of things that have been happening. Uh, I think we uh, we should all probably go with you when you talk to your employer. I I, I would appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Uh, we, we can help explain your absence, your tardiness, uh, and, and why you weren't able to secure the things that you were sent to secure. 
Well, he, he isn't expecting them yet, but I know he will need them soon, and he is so emphatic about how important it is. I, you know, never seen him quite like this. Why would he need them soon exactly? What, what has he got? What's he got doing? What's what's he uh, what's he got planning? He doesn't tell me anything. He just grumps at me. <laughs> I see. Well, uh, listen. Why don't you uh, why don't you have a seat here and just uh, you know take some time to comport yourself while we finish uh, perusing? I I, I will wait. Uh... Thank you if you if you will actually accompany me uh it, it may ease his uh his anger and I really can't afford not to have this job. <laughs> she laughs. Oh, I understand completely. Cigarette? Oh, no thank you. No thank you. Well, for me. I mean, lights went up. <laughs> Being a house in the 20s there's ashtrays everywhere. <laughs> mm-hmm. Where did, uh, does, can, can we tell where the ant died? Uh, you know, it was on the bed uh, by the, the fact they removed the mattress, probably because of massive blood pooling. Um, you know, out, out of, blood? Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, out of character, yeah, when, when somebody dies, there's a tremendous amount of blood. Um, yeah, yeah, it, it would, especially when they're dismembered. Right, and that's why there's cleanup spots all over the house. Oh, is there any place there might be, like, footprints? Uh, you haven't like seen any. Blood, it would be difficult to not get some on you and then track it elsewhere in the house. Uh, you haven't found any. Um, yeah, that's weird. At, at, well, as I said, remember, even outside there, you know, the the ground was wet because of the blood, and they cleaned, and usually they'd like use a broom and hose down the ground. So there's oh, a so real good there's a real good chance, uh, you know, out of character. There's a real good chance they would have just destroyed the evidence. This is the 1920s, so. Yeah, yeah. That's the downside. So, um, we are actually coming up on about 8.30. Um, so I think what we'll do is we can go ahead and um, the next time you see a, an opportune stopping point, if you want to flag it, we can stop or we can stop here or go a little bit further. But I'm saying we, we should look at kind of a wrap up because uh, I think to go much further is going to be a new area. <laughs> so, which will involve a little bit more prep and by the time we actually get it started it'll be time to finish anyway so all right but uh well i mean R- richard f- found a library I'm, I'm assuming yes yes you did she's quite the reader uh as it turns out uh quite a few history books apparently she uh actually uh, do me a favor and spot uh do a library or actually no just do an edu check for me please Education, so. Yep, it's books. It's books, <laughs> lots of books. You found a lot of books. Uh, I hear him say that, so I would like to... Uh, you wait here, Sally. I'm going to go walking down the hall to, to the library. All right, and uh, you may do either... Um, yeah, you may do an EDU check then, education. It's a navy me. I break everything into letters when it's just a shortened word. So that's you'll have to forget <laughs> that. That's just the way our brain works now. Let's see. Standard education check. Let's see if I got anything that's higher than education. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you, yeah. And you guys can always feel free to, to say, "How about I roll on this?" Uh, sometimes I will. Sometimes I won't. But feel free to ask. So. Not a problem. Uh, 19. Oh, very good. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Uh, you notice that, um, you know, there's like a, a whole bunch of romance novels and, you know, kind of historical fiction, regular history. So she kind of has a, you know, a certain trend uh, that way. But on the bottom shelf in one corner where most of the shelves are empty, there's like one row about a, say, half a uh, shelf and uh they're all like um very odd they're they're books on the occult um but they're specific to areas like you know tibetan 
you know, mystical practices. Another mm. one about Egypt. Another one about, you know, Eastern Europe areas. You know, it's, they're all culturally and geographically specific. You kind of see, and it's only in this one place. It's not with any of the rest of the books. And it, to be honest, they look like they have not been opened in at least two years. Or anything pertaining to the Pacific Northwest? You don't see anything, no. Okay. Interesting. What you got there, Dash? Uh, looks like uh, the old lady had uh, an interest in the uh, the spooky. Um, it's like a tour of the tour of the occult from around the world. Up uh, immediately, uh, vestibule heads right on over and starts uh, perusing. And Peter, are you anywhere in this area yet, or near? I have no idea where they are. <laughs> oh, they're in the library. Uh, uh, in the library, uh, far library. south. Okay. I. Oh, yeah, you're stuck there in a closet somewhere. South That's road. interesting. I will move you guys. That's oh, all. okay. There's a door in the hallway. Oh, okay. yeah. There you go. Should be in there now. Okay. And for sake of the... Uh, visual concept the, the yeah, they're they're, cool. they're in this bottom shelf way back on the inside yeah right where richard is um just kind of like you know like if you had to keep them but you didn't want people to necessarily notice them that's where you would put them Well, do uh, any of the, I mean, if I kind of thumb through them relatively quickly, do any of them have uh, any of the symbolage uh, from the uh, from that from the note that had the circle on it? I'm yeah. going to give you a double shot here. I would like you to roll first a occult. Let's see if anything turns up for you that way. I shouldn't have any It should. All right. Um, and I would like to have you make a spot hidden check on top of that. Spot hidden on top. Okay. All right. I, I, I do not notice the fly on the wall with the <laughs> uh, with, with, with the tentacled face. It's for, perfectly fine. Everything yeah, looks does. normal. Um. As you go through, uh, you you do realize that uh, several of the uh, books have well-worn pages. Uh, and on those well-worn pages are symbols that would correlate to the symbol that you've seen so far. It's a, you know, several of them are about protection and like spiritual attunement, um... Not sacrifice, uh, not death, not anything dark. Um, but you notice that there's a similar thing, and it's like every one of these books that you looked has that equivalent in it. Uh, well, well looked at, well thumbed. You know the pages are dog-eared. Um, you know you, you could see that if like you know if someone was making symbols to put in a journal for protection, that's what they would look like. Yeah. All right. And all of these books seem to have like a decent layer of dust on them. They don't look like they've been used in quite a while. Yeah, it's you know okay. it, 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 we're talking is you're probably the first person in, you know, a year or two at least to have opened them. Say, Pete, would you yeah. mind being a would you mind being a library for me and uh, allow me to borrow these uh, books? I promise to take real good care of them, and you will get them back. Sure thing, Mister. Uh, Pete, you happen to remember that when you were dropped off two years ago, it was with a couple of boxes stuffed full of books. There's a real good chance that these were those books. You mean, wait a minute. <laughs> He's looking at the books. I think those are my pop's books. That's what he's saying to 
the those of you looking at the books, the particular books. What do you mean your top books? We'll see. Rupert was a mysterious man. As he gets to all kind of... <laughs> He kind of, kind of squares up the britches and right, yes. <laughs> ready, for, ready well. to belt us a story. I'm, I'm, I'm living for it. There was a lot of, a lot of stuff that happened, a lot of heartache that happened back in Colorado, where we're from, and uh, mom died. You see, and uh, Rupert, son of a bitch. He brought me and my brother here. He dropped us off at our aunt's house. He was always into trouble and stuff, you see. Always had stuff going on up his sleeves and things like that. Not a real law-abiding citizen, if you catch my meaning there. I think we do. And, uh, yeah. I don't know why these books are so important that he had to drop them off with my aunt but the way i see it he sees us just the same as those books just dumped them off for her to her to look after the son of a bitch his fist now now that's no way to talk about your grandma dragging my cigarette. <laughs> so, did your aunt have an office? Um, yes, I as a know. matter of fact. She... Uh, it's actually the room next to this one on the same floor. Yeah, side eyes you. Yeah, uh, that's my cue <laughs> to go look in the office. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's not a closet. Oh, it's a closet. You have to go up north and then immediately south next to you. You'll see it. I see. Oh, it's making me move <laughs> through the doors. Yeah, it'll block your motion otherwise. All right. I'll start rifling the desk. Where did I go? Oh, you know what happens? Because you're sharing, you're only seeing his vision. That's what's going on. Okay. So, anyway, you select you your token. Yeah. You yeah. select one, it deselects the other. Uh, yep. It's, and you two being on one laptop is makes it probably a little harder for you. I, I, that would be a pain in the butt for me, I can imagine. So, yeah, just whenever you have questions like that, just holler, because I'll just drag you where you need to go. It's not a problem. Um. Call of Cthulhu is mostly theater of the mind. This just kind of gives you reference points. So, so uh, yes, yeah, so if you're searching, in, yeah. yeah, if you're searching, uh, you're go ahead. And... You're locked in. What? Logged, logged into the, into the. Yeah, into the yeah, and it messes with the permissions, and yeah, it's kind of a weird. So, uh, but we can accommodate. It's not a problem. That's it. Do you have an issue? Just holler at me. Uh, okay. Okay, well, so uh, you are in there. Make a spot hidden check for me. And a accounting check. Accounting? Accounting. Uh, there's no accounting for taste. Uh, there's absolutely no accounting. There's no accounting? Um, where are Wait. my... I thought there was. Let me look. Um... No, there is. That 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 it was a saying back then. Oh yes, gotcha, 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 gotcha. It's my accounting roll. Alrighty. Probably failed. Um, you're you're convinced yes. she was a multimillionaire and was hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> but my spot hidden. Mm-hmm. 
yes. Yes, very much so. Okay. Um, Art success. Um, uh, uh, you you do find a uh, a stack of uh, letters, um, and they are all addressed to S. Rupert, and they're all sealed. Ah. So they're. No, return, no return address. Ad, address to S. Rupert. Interesting. Uh, does the handwriting on the outside of the envelope match the handwriting on the any of the stuff on the desk? Like, is it the aunt's handwriting? Um, yeah, give me an education check. Alrighty. Bada bing. Uh, it doesn't look like, it, this looks like the only handwriting like this in the place. It doesn't match anything at all that you can see. It's the address. This address? Um, it literally just says S. Rupert, and it's blank uh, beyond that. Right. No return address. So no sending address and no return address. Just the name. Aha. They were hand delivered, or to be hand delivered. Well, I got nothing to lose, and I don't care about snooping. I'm gonna pop my uh, my knife out and slice them up, slice them open, and start looking at them. All right. Uh, How many of them are there? There are probably a dozen. All right. Uh, no date stamp on them. No, they're just it's just handwritten on a. On a All right. Uh, I pop open the top one. A look at it. All right. Um, you unfold the paper, you take a look at it, and it's blank. It is completely blank. Now that's weird. And while I'm kind of peeking through the closet, what's weird? I got a stack of letters addressed to the kid's dad. Except that I uh, pop one of them open and it looks like there is no writing on it. No writing? I'm going to open the next one. And again. Same deal. Blank sheet of paper. Fold it up. It's been folded for years. You can tell. It's just this thing is never... You know, you get that paper gets that ultra crisp feel when you unfold it for the first time after years. That's what it feels like. This has never been unfolded, and it's been there for a long time. I mean, not centuries, but it's been there for years. That's weird. I hold the, uh, the one of the pages up to the light. I can see through the paper. Um, just paper. Um, so wait, give me a spot okay. hidden just in case. You might be able to pick something up if there is something to pick up. Woohoo! That would be an extreme success. That certainly would be. As you hold it up, you're kind of holding it up to this, you know, old light. Actually, I got a lighter. I'm going to pull my lighter out yeah. and hold it. And the heat the b behind it, uh, suddenly as it's uh, the heat from the lighter is hitting it, you can start to see what looks like text rolling coming across um, the imprint of something writing on it and the heat itself begins to fill those imprints with ink and starting to slowly fill in words holy Arthur Conan Doyle it's disappearing ink yeah, I... looking at it fascinated <laughs> hill with a cave I'll I'll uh, Rolodex that for later. Okay. Do you guys want to keep looking at uh, more of the letters to see if maybe we find a cipher key? Would there be one? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, 
having trouble with my uh, iPad. No problem. What was the uh, the agent's name again? Uh, Harper. Harper. Let me make sure I got that right. Would whatever you're looking for, would whatever you're looking for, be somewhere else on this in this desk, maybe? It's looking at the two of you. <laughs> I expectantly like this person now. <laughs> uh, we can definitely uh, uh, take a look. I mean, this it's definitely a, a, of interest. What what is that? What does one of those things look like? So I, I can help you look. Well, it'll. Well, it'll have kind of basically a, a road map of numbers, uh, numbers and letters, uh, to basically kind of pick out uh, where where certain letters are supposed to be. Um. Tell you what, why don't you give me, um, Greg, and just an education check as you try and explain all this. All right. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you should. Uh, education. Yeah, you should. Uh, education. Gonna roll that beautiful bean footage. Mm -hmm. I got a seventy-four. All right, it's, you struggle and stammer a little bit, but you explain what a cipher is and how it works to the point where uh, Peter kind of understands you're looking for something that you know that would help decode this. Um, and whoever's going to help look, I would like you to make a uh, what do you call it a. Where is it? Library use check, because that's about, you know, you're looking for patterns, we'll call it library use, or if you'd like to use something else, if it makes sense, we can use that. Um, well, I got a 49. All right. Uh, how do I, how do I roll again? Click on the name of the skill. Nope. Yeah, you guys don't see anything um, that seems like it would be a key for it. Well, then I haven't rolled it. Okay. Wait, Ashall. Nope. All right. I have failed. Yeah, wasn't wasn't too critical anyway. So, in fact, it was it was barely failed. Um, yeah, you don't see anything either. You know, you know just nothing is really triggering you to say this is a, a, a key of any kind. All right. All right. Um, at that point, you hear a knocking at the door. The front door? The front door of the apartment, yes. All right, well, I'll go take care of that. Well, I'll, I'll go with. I'll lurk in the background. Alrighty. <laughs> All right. Um, you recognize? No, I'll, I'll huh? do the same. All right. You recognize the girl that uh, was in the store with you, um, Richard, uh, that 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 drove you to the police station, and uh, then suddenly was accompanying you guys and gave you the ride here, and or you know, or had been uh, was going to give you a ride here, but then. Uh, the agent gave you use of his car. Um, there she stands. Good evening, everybody. How are you? Are you my new cubs? Uh, well, I, I don't know how to properly answer that, uh, lady, but uh, <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, your name, please? Uh, yeah, my, uh, my, my name's Connie, Connie Malay. Um, I'm actually an agent as well, and uh, he, he kind of sent me here to kind of set you on your way and to help you because 
things are a little crazy down there, and I am sorry. We're usually not quite this bad. Well, Agent Connie, we, we definitely appreciate it. We found a few things uh, here in the apartments, uh, but uh, we're definitely not finished uh, taking a look further upstairs. Okay, all right. Um, well, do you mind if I go over what I have to go through and then I can leave? Um, I, I, I'm terribly busy, unfortunately. Sure, you can definitely go through. Okay, um, I'm going to leave you some files. Uh, there, there's some good information in there. Um, what, 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 uh, what, what we want is we want you to try and figure out why that lunatic attacked you. Uh, that, that's probably the most important thing. There's a pattern. We just don't know what it is. You know, I, I hope we can figure this out, but, you know, Agent Harper's, uh, he's coordinating a lot of other things. Uh, I, I will be here to help you as much as possible. Um, and what we need to do is try, at least try to figure out what is the common factor. There is a lot going on. We're bringing in additional agents at some point, but they, they have a, a, a fair time to, before they get here. We, if you can find anything on this journal, maybe that'll be a help. Uh, I just know that whenever these pages appear, um, we always find them at the sites of just horrific nonsense. The, 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 the fact that this one that we found with you uh, is astonishing. It is a first. And so we're, we're hoping you can help us with this. Dash, my good man. Are, are you uh, uh oh, hold check, on a second. checking this uh, out? This is the woman that just arrived. Uh, yeah, this is the woman that uh, you. She was sitting with. I, I uh, don't remember her from the previous. Session. She, it was just a very casual. You walked by and saw her. Um, she okay. was talking to Richard. She was. Um, all, you know, we'll assume that uh, she was the, in the police station. She arrived with me, Sa me, Sally, and a uh, one other of my patrons. Okay. And then, then, uh, so am I, am I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm a little confused in person. Um, uh, uh, you would, she an employee. Of, she is an agent. She is an agent she, with this okay, group of people. You. Sorry about that. Yeah. She is a government agent. agent. Got it. Um, uh, Dash says, sent you here to babysit us, eh? Ah, uh, probably in the long run, I'm sure. Uh, well, you know anything about codes? And I hand her the, uh, the page that we just found. Uh, okay, well, uh, she is going to have to do something real quick then. Uh... We found this letter written in invisible ink. Invisible ink? Well, do you have any idea why it would be important? Well, if we could read it, maybe we might know. But it's obviously in some sort of code. Oh, this is a, this is a, this is a replacement cipher. Okay. Um, hmm. That's an odd thing to find. What, uh, who are these to and from? Do we know? If I recall correctly, it was two the aunt um it, or well, from the aunt. We, we there was no um it was just it was to the aunt there's no return address right. or anything on any of them and there's no real right. there's no address it's just her name basically it's to her right uh were they oh, letters well, they were actually stamped no they were just sealed envelopes sealed envelopes yeah we have a, a stack of these in the back in the office area they're addressed to his, uh, Peter's aunt, but we don't know who they're from. Hmm. Okay, that's that. That's hmm. very interesting. Um, she starts looking at it, and she takes out a piece of paper and starts uh, writing. Writing, just kind of, then seems to be doing some math problems, and she goes, can't solve it. Uh, <laughs> you, you, need, you need the key for it. Uh, there, there's, it's not a, uh, 
There's a couple of them that we could kind of back, but with this one, is it's obviously key. Do you need a key or some clue on how to get the key? Well, if you've got any spare agents, maybe we might need to go through her uh, her office back there. Oh, she just laughs. Oh, spare agents? Are you kidding me? There's, <laughs> there are two of us. That's all. Uh, I, I hate to tell you this, but the idea of the government helping you, um, you know, and bringing off these massive forces, yeah, that, there, there's... There's not that many of us, and we'll be lucky to, to help you at all. I, I, I so you're saying that. it's us who has to go looking through her papers? <sighs> yes, actually, I am. I'm, I'm glad you picked up on that. Thank you. What was her name again? Connie. Connie Malay. Well, Connie, I tell you what, there is one thing you can do for me. What's that? Put on a pot of coffee, and I turn around and start walking back to the office. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, two sugars as I walk back that way <laughs> as you guys walk you just hear the door close <laughs> the 30s yeah 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 well, the 20s. Uh, I, I guess if, if I, I turn back around she's left the, uh, the, the stack of papers that she brought up for us yep okay I go back and pick those up okay <laughs> um uh, yeah, no, she just, yeah, but she uh, apparently didn't feel like making coffee. Let's just say that. <laughs> say, Pete. Yeah. Do you know if your aunt has coffee around here? I think she was more of a tea person. Great. You got any strong tea? Uh, uh, we. I think we might need a, a good strong kettle. <laughs> well, she might have some food in there too. So yeah, <laughs> I'll do that. But I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I might eat first. So. <laughs> uh, now you guys are not. You, you guys can literally do anything you want at this point. You're not stuck in I, a place. You know. I am going back into that into her office. And okay. I am gonna start opening every single letter in that stack and reading every single one i'm going to look at every document looking for anything that might look like a cipher or a key or a partially decoded sentence anything that might help me decode this uh this I, I will give the choice of a spot hidden or a um what do you call it uh library use whichever one you feel like or, or and can I assist him? Can, can I can I request uh, use of my English language skill? I'll tell you what. Yes, yes, you may. Yes, you may. I, I, I want, no, I, I can see that. Yeah, you can see bending it's that. It's the one skill on my character sheet that's at that's maxed out. Hey, why not? It's a 75. Let me go over here. Out of the way, Dash. And if I want to assist or give him a help action, is there anything I need to roll? or? Um, oh, you have got to be kidding me. All right. I would like to spend... Uh, okay, five... hold on. Hold on. I, I, I'm, I'm going to save you spending because uh i'm going to be nice because also would have told you is there is no cipher here oh, okay so yeah i just yeah it is just mundane bit of everything there's literally nothing in here that doesn't bore you to tears reading so and the stack of letters that we found this one in none of those letters are like this one no there's literally it's like yeah you know, just these are so completely it's like the books on that bottom shelf Okay. Completely out of place. Looks out of yeah, place. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to update this. How long does that take me? Um, we'll say you go an hour, so it's not too long. All right. After an hour, I come back. I, I get up and I wander into the kitchen. Say, Pete, you ever find that tea? <laughs> it's been an hour. I would think that I would have. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you find it. it's regular kitchen. She has tea. Yeah, yeah. Did that lady leave? Oh yeah, she just came by to drop off some papers. Ah. Well, speaking of, I guess I should probably take a look at them, huh? Um, basically, it's just uh, it's authorization paperwork that allows you to, you know, uh, kind of gives you like limited deputy powers. Uh, it, it's a legal recognition. Um, and basically, uh, liability waivers that say that if you do this, it is entirely at your own risk. <laughs> okay, and uh, I take it there's uh, three of them for for all three of us. Um, they they are uh, that, well, actually, it's a good point. The ones for you, you have a set, but they always reference um, Dashiell uh, as your guardian. Dashiell, it appears you're the you're, you're the brains of this operation. <laughs> Well, we're, our ship is sunk. And then, uh, I hand him the paperwork for him to take a look at it. What am I looking at? Um, authorization paperwork, typical government stuff saying that, you know, you, you have been basically deputized to the uh, Federal Bureau of Secrets, I think, I believe it was. Um, paperwork would be pending in the mail. Uh, there would be, you know, appointments and blah, blah, blah. Uh, authorizing you certain spending, telling you what you're going to get paid. And uh, uh, liability waivers basically saying you do so at entirely your own risk of life, limb, and sanity. <laughs> and it's very specific that's in that wording. That's an odd clause, but all right. Do I have to sign anything? Um, it's got a bunch of blanks, and they're just basically highlighted to where you guys are each supposed to sign. All right. I, uh, I pull my pen out of my uh, inside breast pocket that I always carry with me. Uh, and I, uh, it's a self-loading, uh, Ooh. a little, <laughs> I'm writing. I sign, sign, here, sign, here, sign, here. Here you go, kid. Sign your life away. Sign here, 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 and here. That means right. write your name. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All righty. Write the name, write the name, write the name. And then I hand it to uh to uh Richard. Ri Richard. And I have some I, I, I look at it dubiously. <laughs> I am I'm, I'm looking through a you know the how much we're getting paid. Uh, uh it, does it come with a medical insurance? Oh no, because it's all at your own risk. You know, I mean this is there wasn't a whole lot of medical insurance uh programs even in the twenties, even in government. So yeah. Yeah, that really got started in like the seventies. In a big way, yeah. And so yeah. They got they got kids working in factories. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Medical what? No well, time to sign the old life away, I tell you. These knuckleheads really know what they're doing. Sign it. Throw it back in the folder. I guess we'll get this down to the uh, uh, to the agents whenever we get there. Hey, we need to check out the rest of the house. Got to make sure everything is okay. Before oh, that's we, uh, right. You oh, you yeah. got this uh got this uh this uh, person upstairs, don't you? Maybe. We'll see. All right. Um. This is the top floor of her apartment. Um. Nothing. Uh, you know, to save you the effort on it is to but there's really nothing here that you found um, that stands out in any way all right there's not like an attic space there is an apartment there are two more apartments above you two more apartments above us okay and so you you, know, you think we should check on your uh, your other uh, yes people uh, who are living here or? yes i'll take i'll take the keys too uh just in case they have to open it up so okay we'll, well you do we'll remember up. that there are there's two tenants above that you've seen coming yeah. and going. Um, one of them's just a, a well, actually, the the floor above is a working couple, you know, man and a woman, uh, and on the floor above that is just a, a cranky old man. Yeah, I've got to check in on the tenants and all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 
Uh, so then I guess uh, we should go go up there and take a look now that we're uh, fully fledged uh, G-men now, huh? There you go. So, all right, as you step out, um, let's see. I don't know if my clock. Uh, super, da, 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 where were we at? You're at the end of your day, so it's about dinner time, right? If I remember correctly. Your belts. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So yeah, there's you know you notice uh, as you're outside, the city's quieter than normal. Um, you know, there should be a number of people on this street, and you know there there are people coming and going, but everybody's hushed, and it looks a little bit subdued out. Um, typical kind of a semi rainy day. It's misting about dinner time. You can hear all kinds of you know chitty chatty and smells of all kinds of dinners going on. And uh, yeah, there's like I say, there's two stories uh, above uh, this floor. Of course, you probably wouldn't have seen any of that because you've got an interior stairwell, but that's okay. We'll assume there's windows. <laughs> it, it, it seems to be just a little more quiet than usual around here. Uh, are, are you sure yeah. you're, maybe the, the people are home or do you know if they made it out? I, I don't know. That's why I want to go check on them. Well, all right. I'm going to walk up to the... Uh, how many other tenants are there? There's two other apartments. Two other apartments? Upstairs, yes. And they're both accessed from outside? Yeah, there's just... Well, there's a, an interior store, uh, stairwell um, that just has a lot of windows on it. That's how you can tell it's quiet about town. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to clomp up the stairs and walk up to the first door and just bang loudly on it. Hey, anybody home? No answer. I check the door. Is it locked? Yes. Eh. Don't suppose your aunt's got a key. That's why I said I was grabbing the keys. Um, so oh. You have the keys to your apartment, but uh, apparently people have their own keys to their own locks here. She doesn't have uh, master keys to everyone's locks? Not that you've noticed, no. But these are old locks. There's not a lot to them. This well, is, these are literally skeleton key locks. I uh, I run down. I run back downstairs, go into the bathroom area, grab a bobby pin or two bobby pins, and I head back up. Okay. All right. Well, this might be fun. <laughs> About the second apartment. It's an old uh, man. I knock on that door. Just, uh, what? What the hell? What? You just yell. Excuse me, sir. I'm from the government. I have a few questions for you. I don't care who the fuck you are. Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> uh, sir, I'm afraid, uh, what's his name? You know his name? Does Pete know the guy's name? Uh, oh, this guy? No, actually yeah. you don't. Uh, it's just, just that old bastard and the old prick and... Yeah, that's pretty much how he's known around here. This sounds completely typical for how this guy would act. He was truly a grouchy, wait, hateful wait, old man. Wait, Hold on, hold on. Maybe that is... Where is it? I'm sorry, hold on a moment. No problem. Charlie Pinkerton! Old man Charlie Pinkerton, remember the the strange entity? And he said, "Not unless you mean old man, Charlie, old man Pinkerton. Charlie Pinkerton." He's a goofy goose. He's a goofy goose. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not him. him. No, it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> that would be convenient, but no. <laughs> well, now while they're while cool. they're up there checking on the grouchy old guy, I got the bobby pins. So I'm gonna. <laughs> try picking the uh the lock all right so breaking and entering is our new thing got it hey i'm a government man i i, I need to know and i have a 50 locksmith hey oh dear god well of course you may try whatever you may try well, i'm glad someone has it has it i've got a one it's not my thing there we go all right uh Mr. Upstanding, you know, proper businessman, just managed to freaking 
and this door is unlocked before him. Knock, knock, knock. You hear nothing. All right, I take a moment to kind of, I don't know, sniff the air. Is there anything decaying and dead in there? Um, hold on, for reasons. Hold okay. on, for reasons. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, actually, you don't smell anything unusual. Nothing unusual, okay. So, is, uh, do, do these rooms actually have electricity, or is, uh... Yeah, it does. Is it yeah a... well, I mean, as far as you know, these, yeah, they have, like, a light switch inside each door. I, I, for the most I part. try to feel around yeah. for the light switch. And... Yeah, yeah, it's right there where you expect it to be. All right, so flip it on. And you you are in a kind of messy apartment. Looks like it's been kind of, I guess, ransacked or... No, just lived in. Just lived in? Okay. Just lived in. It's probably maybe even cleaner than your apartment. <laughs> Say now. <Yeah. laughs> he, What's the big idea the here? <laughs> he's standing at the door of it, mind you. He didn't, he didn't walk away from there. All right, as you stand here, your new person that you've known for a few hours starts breaking just, into just, and uh, walking into your neighbor's door. Just uh, check to make sure that there's no dead dead bodies and no, no dead bodies rat and, rat, and, and, and rat men in there. Yeah, yeah then let's get out a while. So I, I do a cursory kind of look around to see if there's anything that is way out of place. Looks like people just went to work. Just looks normal. All right. Um, do a so spot hidden for me. Spot oh. hidden. Hey, hey! You do find a stash of pretty good herbal material. Tucked away. What kind of herbal material? The type that goes with pipes and rolling papers. You mean hmm. tobacco or marijuana? Marijuana. You found our you found our weed stash. Hey, we found the found the the, the wacky tobacco. Don't be messing with their stuff. Come on, Richard. Uh, no, perfectly fine. Just I leave can. it exactly where where that is, oh. but I'm gonna make note of it. I'm a government man of all things, you know. I don't think that there's a uh yeah, what's the word? Uh, uh, prohibition against uh, marijuana. It is not illegal yet. It is not illegal. This nope. is pre reefer madness, but it's still not necessarily cheap. You don't leave it out in the open. So. Well, they're not out in the open. It's yeah. He kind of yeah. Has been broken into. So. Well, yeah, but I mean, even so, people yeah. you know they'll put it in the put it in the drawer, and not leave it out out on the counter. You know. So we we'll back out of the apartment since there's nothing that really you know trips my my uh, my red flags okay uh and then i'll try to relock it okay uh, give me another check if you would please oh my goodness okay i see all right richard has a past even the keeper doesn't know about apparently <laughs> well, you know, I'm a, I'm a man about town. I, mm -hmm. I I know things. I go I go to places, and sometimes you gotta mm -hmm. be good with your fingers. And now uh, you just see this young know, guy looks more like a you know a a, 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 a cult hobbyist accountant uh, in appearance, kind of like just whips this lock shut like it's nothing. Well, I opened it, so I should know how to close it. Exactly, you know, it's just, <laughs> so. and that's and that's the story I'm sticking to. Yes, and you know, and uh, you know, uh, uh, Peter, you've been around a lot of this sort of thing, and this guy's pretty good at that, surprisingly so, even from what you've okay. seen in in life. Pete's gonna kind of give you a little bit of a side eye, <laughs> and just nod a little bit. Okay, is there? Um... Let's go see what, what's going on upstairs. Where I am? Yeah. 
Uh, oh, I, that's that'd be me uh, yelling through the door. Now look here, yo, Coot. There's been a horrible murder downstairs, and unless you want me to bring you in for obstruction of justice, you better open this door and answer some questions. Uh, I, sorry, but door flings open, and it stinks in here. Um, but it, it stinks of, like, underwear needing washing and, you know, stank, rotten booze and, you know, food that needs to be cleaned up and, you know, like way too many cigarettes. It's just that, that smell. <laughs> There's a guy, he's standing there in this sweaty, stained white shirt and, you know, dingy pants, barefoot, toenails that could, you know, probably kill a rabbit if you could manage to run that fast. Just kind of this gross old guy. And he's just like, what, what do you want? I saw all the police. They're already all in here. Well, we ain't the police. We're with the government. Must be the maid's year off. And? Well, what'd you hear? I hear nothing. Nothing? He reaches over and he picks up a bottle and he goes, When I sleep, I don't fucking hear nothing. Puts the bottle back down. All right, well, uh, in the last uh, couple of weeks, have you noticed anything funny? What do you mean, funny? You know, like weird, unusual, out of the ordinary. Unless you call a bunch of cats in the sewer like cats, like rats, no. Uh, no, that's, that's exactly what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? What do you mean rats or cats in the sewer? Uh, I spent a lot of time kind of, you know, I'm in and out of a few darker places, you know, alleys. Um, you know, oh, I, I'm, a lot of time in alleys. But, um, I don't know, I could, uh, I can't remember. Uh, if I could only remember, what could kick my, if I had a drink I could remember, but I can't afford a drink, so I guess you're out of luck. Am I? And I'm going to reach into my coat pocket and pull out the small metal flask that I carry with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to slowly open it and I'm going to go, if only we could jog your memory somehow. And I'm going to take a small sip of the brandy I carry in it. Ooh, that's good brandy. Mm, yes. All right. Reaches already grabs this just filthy cup and he puts it there. Put that thing up. I'm gonna pour some in without uh, trying not to <laughs> make contact with his cup and my flask. And I pour like a finger's worth and I stop and go. And he's so a... you remembering anything yet? He picks it up and he's looking at it. He just Rah! sets it down kind of breathing because you can tell Brandy's not his drink so it's kind of a, a warmer burn than he's used to and uh, he kind of shakes it off yeah uh, just that there, there's there's a, a, a new kind of rat and it's as big as a cat and it can climb like a cat but it's got to be a rat because they live in the sewers and they've been all over the city you, you ask anybody about it but thanks for the drink Sure. Thanks for the uh, interesting tale. Have you seen these rats doing anything out of the ordinary? I see big things leaping over a wall or dashing into a bush. I really don't check out what he's doing. I don't care. All right. Fair enough. Do, do you follow rats around in your spare time? Are you weird? <laughs> that remains to be seen. Whatever. And he just starts pushing you out the door. Leave me alone. Oh, I, I wasn't setting foot in. Oh, so okay. He, yeah, no, he, he just slammed the door. Right I'm in your not, face. I'm, I didn't breach the, the, the threshold. <laughs> the wall of scent kept me at bay. <laughs> well, how do you like them apples? Not very much. They were quite pungent. So, you, uh, as you. So, we got large rats, huh? Well, 
it looks like Peter's story's been corroborated, well, by a, by a disgusting rummy, but he had no reason to lie. Well, since it's getting, you know, towards evening time, um, <clears throat> with the the rats that Pete's been uh, talking about and all the other crazies, uh, we should probably head back to uh, my pl my shop and uh, maybe hunker down for the evening, because I might have some uh, things that would keep certain certain things outside if you get what i mean i really don't then you probably should okay but i'm happy to follow through on your offer uh i got nowhere else to go besides my office pete i i i would be interested in that i'd like to see what a quick fingered gentleman such as yourself does for your day job <laughs> <laughs> all right then uh may maybe i'll teach you a, f a few things or two oh uh, that'd be tough well, on, on the way back out mm -hmm. uh i'm gonna swing by the fireplace and uh pick up a poker <laughs> you pick up a poker wanna, as I you do gather... as you do oh. you walk in and you kind of remember that oh yeah sally was here <laughs> You had her sit down in the living room and just kind of forgot about her? No, no, I haven't forgot about her at oh, all. Oh, well, anyway, yeah, well, as far as she's uh, concerned, you Sally. did. Sally. She's sitting there and Sally, you look and she's, she's looking through all these papers and she's signing the very last one on her set. <laughs> what, what was that again? She's signing her copy. Oh, her copy? Yes. Well, I asked if there, there was a lot of copies. Oh well, yeah, but you didn't, I didn't ask how many. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we're going. We're going on a uh, a search, right? We're going to be going on a. She, he, he's looking at all of the adults here. We're going on an, an adventure of sorts, right? We'll be gone for a while. Sally, uh, looks like uh, we're pretty much done here. Well, I'm. I'm gonna. I, if that's what we're going to be gone for a few days, I want to pack my stuff and bring some things and lock everything up because I, I don't have any idea what the hell is going on and she takes her copies out she's folding them up the job says it pays <laughs> i need money and she puts it away and she goes you tell me what you need we'll go make it happen or just keep people thinking we're making it happen i don't care and she's actually looking like she's just fed up with all this nonsense well, tomorrow in the morning, we're going to head over to uh, your your employers and uh, talk to him. But traveling at night is not, not going to be a great idea. Uh, over at my, uh, my shop, we might have some uh, means of uh, protecting ourselves, if you know what I mean. We'll see. But yes, lead on. You see, she doesn't know either. We'll all find out very soon. <laughs> Is there any books in the in the library in, in here that any of you need? You seem to be really interested in them. Um, if they help with the journey. Did, you kind of glanced over them, but you didn't really look for anything specific, so you don't know. Oh, that that stack of books that, that yeah. we found in the library? There yeah. was what? There were only like six or eight of them, right? There's like, uh, no, there's like, you know, there's probably, I mean, these are like four foot bookshelves, and there's probably like three feet of these books. So figure right, 25, the, 30 the, the, volumes. There was only about six or eight of them that actually were, were out of place and, and, and were occultish. Yes, there, there were about six of them, but you haven't really had a chance to look at them. Um, right. I, I, uh, it takes a while to go through a book, you know, it, to be fair. I um, wanted to have grabbed the stack of the occult books. Okay. And Peter was offering. Yes, yes, absolutely. Uh, just add them to your inventory or make a note of it. Actually, let me, I'll just add, you know, uh, six. Yeah, I know exactly what, so yeah. Crazy old dead lady's tiny occult library. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
go ahead and lock up, and then uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll, okay. f we'll figure out some more things uh, later. But right now, we just need to get ourselves uh, to a nice, safe location. All right. I don't think I even have music here, and this is these are all messed up. The tokens. <laughs> um, <laughs> she would be here, so that's actually okay. Um, okay, crazy guy, definitely not anymore. Uh, not anymore. There, there you are. Um, da, da, da. Okay, let me drag them out. Okay, I need to organize my NPCs and PCs a little bit better because this is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> wow, do I have a lot of PCs and NPCs. Good night. Okay. Um... Mr. Peter and now Relentless Dashiell. This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> now Relentless Dashiell. <laughs> uh, I love that. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, that bug may stand, uh, depending on your, <laughs> your choice, of I course. I can't do anything about it. Well, no, but uh, <laughs> the effort I put into getting rid of it may, may vary, it, depending on how entertaining it is. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you you find your way into well I'll let uh, I'll let Richard describe his shop it is his shop it'll be how he wants it to look well uh, pretty much a, a very nice and well to do looking a uh, shop for the metaphysical you've got your uh, how to books of uh, how to you know read the read the uh, tarot cards uh, there's crystals there's uh, actual tarot cards for sale you know it's it's basically a metaphysical shop but uh what richard's looking for is uh one of his uh bigger books that would actually i guess more more or less be a protection spell or a uh, a way of uh sealing the doors and windows from uh bad spirits Okay, um, I would assume there'd be something. Let me look at your character sheet here for a moment. Um, well, uh, just roll an occult for me. Roll an occult? Yeah. With an advantage. With an this advantage. Is, this is your job. <laughs> you should be able to get this. So with the bonus dice, I'd, I'd move it up to one? Yep. Is that equal? Uh, I got an eight. Holy shit. <laughs> that is a critical success, my friend. Um, Kind of we're going to protect the place. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, what spells we've, we've do you the, find? We've... What spells and protections do you find? Well, that would be up to you, since I don't know what uh, uh, what protections and spells uh, you're you're gifting me in here. Well, um, it, it depends on what you describe. I mean, you know, things have to have a Basically, logical limitation, right? right? Come up with something uh, that makes sense, and we'll be like, okay. Basically, a. a a, cir uh, a circle of protection, but I'm I'm wanting to make it big enough to encompass the shop that okay, or, uh, or the uh, building that we are in. You know that that's a significant task, right? That, that yes. You, you have to know that that's that's you probably couldn't protect the whole place, but maybe you could be or a, at least a, a very good a, a large amount of it to where you know it, when we decide that we want to rest, we can actually rest you you remember things comfort like, you 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 remember things like the basic salt circle right that comes from something um you know water silly little things like that but they you know that they are based on the fact that that something works with it right so you're able to basically kind of put barriers up that i mean you may not stop everything but at least you'll know it's coming 
the guards and wards, yeah, you know, just, stuff you like know. that. But that 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 should be fine. You know, it, if a if the little rat guys c come in, I want them to. You know, I want you know some way of us getting alerted prior to them coming in, or you're, you're if, if they if they happen um, to come in, they're going to be so uncomfortable. Well, see, I still don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to give. Leave. I don't want to give too much away, but I will just say that you are confident in your ability to have made this place secure. Excellent. Whether that's true or not, we will see. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think I've got the, the hatches battened and uh, the uh, the doors secured. We're, he, we should did, be safe in here tonight. Did, did he actually do some sort of ritual? Um, you saw him, like, you know, doing circles of salt around the building and, you know, putting up like little odd herbs and like little handmade charms, you know, at the doorways and just all kinds of like random stuff. Some of it seems like stuff you've maybe been familiar with, uh, maybe some Pennsylvania Dutch uh, traditions, you know, he's drawing like a symbol of an evil eye, you know, which that you recognize. It's like, oh, that's old, you know. Uh, can I make an occult check to understand what he's doing? You absolutely may. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Dashel, who's a cult, is 35. 35. And yeah. I got an 8. Well, uh, hell! Wow. <laughs> Let me jot that down. <laughs> that one's a... That one's... Okay. Dashel? Because this is going to be significant. Um, the, yes. The, the uh, dice are with us today. Um... So he's he's doing a protection spell. You, you recognize this. That, that this is somebody who's he's. You recognize a few things, not just what you know. Yeah, he's clearly doing stuff, and you're looking at it, and it doesn't seem like anything loony. It's stuff that could be done, like if somebody was like in the field having to do this. It's just like you can do it, and he's quick about it. Um, and you know, you're, you're like, in your instinct is I. I, I guess I trust that he's knows what he's doing. It, it feels like he's he's got a grasp of some of this. So I'm I'm thinking Dash has probably uh, written something. You've done your Arabian Nights type than adventures than at least story. at some point. Yeah, yeah, you've done like uh, only the character he had doing it was doing a lot of very over the top chanting, and there's none of that. No, it's nothing. Yeah, it's none of the you know the what you see in the. The, the hyped up crap where you've got the guy at the swami in the huge turban well you know um or like the, the robes and you know crazy stuff and you know goofy looking crystal balls filled with smoke and a light you know <laughs> but but you do see a very intense concentration on his face yeah it's it, it looks genuine yeah it's it's a, it's a, a lot more pragmatic way of acting out on those beliefs So, uh, I wait for him to, like, kind of finish, and then I say, so, uh, Richard, what exactly are you hoping to keep out? Well, I'm going to level with you. The little rat things that, uh, Pete had described, they're, they're not from around here. And hopefully some of these uh, protections that I've put up will help keep them either out or if they do decide to come in here, they're going to be so uncomfortable that we'd be able to deal with them in relative quick manner. So... So you're taking... Pete's story about the rat with, with the, a man's face and the uh, the ravings of his uh, drunk upstairs neighbor uh, as uh, at face value. I know these things are out there. I've read about them. 
extensively. Have I ever seen one? Good God, man, no. Should I? I want to either. Run fast. Well, I mean, they didn't attack me, but I didn't want to be around for the whatever the big sounding thing was that they were accompanying. You found a severed hand on your chest. You woke up to the sounds of someone trying to break into your room, or break into your uh, your apartment, and uh, you saw your aunt's severed head rolling down the staircase. Is it possible that in all the excitement, the fear, the, the uncertainty, and also having just woken up in a, from a blind stupor, you might... Your mind might have maybe exaggerated uh, what you experienced? Mister, I don't write funny books. I have more sympathy than you do. <laughs> Sorry, that was great. <laughs> A strong young man. Uh, Peter, don't, I'm not saying you're, uh, you're weak in any way. And, and for the record, my books aren't funny. <laughs> Even at, even at that, uh, Richard just kind of kind of tries to hold in that chuckle, <laughs> uh, and then he goes around looking for other uh, occult books inside the personal stash that uh, might help with the uh, offensive capabilities and also anything of, uh, of value that would help us when we're not inside the shop. Um, make another occult check. Are you going through the, the aunt's books? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll include those uh, uh, along with my own personal stuff. Uh, also with the vintage, or... No, this will be regular. No, I don't see anything. Uh, there's nothing here. This is all gibberish. I mean, it's... This is a. This sounds weird, but I mean, you're you're, what right now you're thinking about. You know, this is immediate. Uh, this is magic that does something. Uh, these are books about places, um, and more. You know, like like one will be about caves, another one will be about forests, and you know, it's it's it is occultic, but it's like really specific, weird information that doesn't parlay into this because this isn't one of the locations in the books. No. But of course, uh, I wouldn't mind actually, re you know, rereading because it's basically kind of giving me not that these would be more spells, but more that this would be more about places of power, which I should kind of look at slowly. Okay. But we don't have to do that. Right now, what I'm looking for is to, you know, get nothing us ready stands, to... Nothing that stands out in that way. So we'll need to get ourselves ready for uh, some nastiness coming our way. Oh, then I should probably check my bandages. Oh, yeah. In fact, how, how bad is that bruise looking? Um, You were down how many from that? I'll let you know. I was, I'm, I'm only down three points. Okay, yeah, no, um, it's a full day. It's, you know, uh, you, you take a point back now, um, right? Because you already had one over its rest, so that was one point. And it's looking like you're, you know, it, it's going to be mostly healed by tomorrow. You know, it's, it, you'll still hurt, but, you know. So right now I'd be back, so right uh, now I'd be, be up to... You'd be up one. Uh, you'd be. You'd have. Uh, you'd take, right. take it away one. And if I performed any extra first aid, would that uh, help the healing? Uh, no, but the medicine would. Um, it still would. It would still leave you down. But after a night's sleep, you'd be fine. All right. Do I have medicine? I don't know. Oh, I got one in medicine. There you go. See. You can... I've at least got that. Let's see how bad I do. 
Got an 11. That's not bad. That is not bad. But Sally comes, sees you, and, uh, let's see. I'm going to give her... Careful, I think this thing, this rib is bruised. And she's, looks like she's pretty familiar with checking people out. Um, and, yeah, she is. Uh, yeah, she did really well. Um, she's like, yeah, you've got a bruised rib. Um, what you need to do is sit this way and kind of set you back. Go ahead and... She fixes you up and uh, bandages you so you can't move it so much and hurt yourself more. Um, oh. So you take back another you. point, and if you sleep with this, she goes, you'll be good as rain tomorrow. Right as rain tomorrow. Uh, so I'll, I'll gain one more point? You gain one now, uh, leaving you down one, and after you sleep, okay. you'll get that one back anyway. So. Perfect. But you can, I believe, I have to look into it further, but there's a limit to how often you can do medicine, first aid. Um, it's, yeah. It, it's, yeah, I, I think it's like every eight hours. Or it, it depends. If, if, there's there's a whole yeah. lot to it, but that won't apply for this one because it's being healed and taken care of. So, yes. all right. Uh, is there anything else anybody would like to do for the evening? Say, Richard, how'd you get those injuries? Well, I had some... Uh, some guy off his rocker come in and uh, attempt to harass uh, Sally over there. Probably try to do her some harm, so I had to beat him over the head with my uh, fire stick over there. Wasn't was he in uh, uh, out of character? Was he being held? Yes, he is in the police station. Remember the uh, let's see? They no, you you guys you went around. You never saw wait, him wait, questioned wait. or anything. We, we, we don't know if he's actually made it to the police station. We know that they sent an ambulance because he... You do remember... He had, had a you significant do remember the one head injury. That, uh, you do remember one of the officers talking about unloading him into that first cell. And oh, you, okay. You, you do remember... That it was a, a, enough of a thing, you know, because they got one of these people alive. So, yeah, these it was a quite a thing that they got him and got him in a cell. They're really hopeful this guy is going to mean something. It was, it was not I a... think before we head out to see Sally's uh, employer, we should swing by the police station tomorrow morning and uh, question the gentleman who did that to you. Now, if you think it'll help. I mean, it, it might shed some light on why he attacked you. Couldn't hurt. Could not hurt at all. I mean, hey. What's the worst he can do is not answer our questions. Right? Right. Um. Yes? Pete's picking up crystals and anything that looks like rock-like okay. that would fit in a sling, and he's like, say, say Richard. How would any of these, uh, these stones do, uh, by using a sling, do they do something special? Well, a lot of these uh, stones are have a uh, particular properties, you know, like uh, that promote positive feeling. Uh, you know, they draw out negativity. I mean, if if you wanted to throw something at some, at some something uh, that was uh, completely negative, uh, I'd probably say black tourmaline over there, but. Uh, that that uh, that crystal that you got got the sharp point. That might poke someone's eye out, kid. <laughs> See, I'm I'm pretty good with a, a sling. Can I have some of your uh, fancy uh, stones for the sling? Indeed. <laughs> kind of looks over what, what whatever he's getting into. Yeah, you can grab a, a couple of those, a couple of those, and a couple of those. It, mainly uh, uh, quartz crystal, uh, black tourmaline, and uh, uh, malachite. Okay, hold on. Uh, we're going to do what's called let's take a moment. Okay? Uh, and this is for the GM's sake more than for your sake. Um, okay, I. The story is kind of going in a place that I certainly hadn't anticipated in a really small way, um, but you know, 
I like what you're doing. Um, do you want me to rein it back because it's not something I wrote? Or do you want me to run with it? Because I absolutely will. I love the idea. It's great. Does that make sense? I'll let you try this and see if it works. How about that? Yep. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that sounds like a resounding yes. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask because Dashiell does not believe in magic mood rocks. Oh, no, I'm talking about in uh, this is actually more about how the storytelling progresses. Oh, OK. All right. Um, I've got two players have kind of tossed this idea back around of like, you know, throwing stones in a slingshot. There's not a lot of uh, framework in the game for that, but there certainly could be. Do you want it done that way? Would you like the story handled that way as we go? I'll fill it in whatever direction you want, or I'll try at least. I mean, they, they could be just like straight up rocks being tossed in a sling, or, you know, right. if, yeah. if, if yeah, something that, happens. Okay. That's, that's kind of how Pete's looking at it. He's like, oh, there's some, some stones. Like, are they special? It don't matter. Like, to him, it's just a stone to put in a sling. But if it has something special that it does, I don't know. He's into this weird stuff so well then I'll... maybe it would do something maybe it doesn't either way it's a stone well, i'll just run First with it however thing. i feel like it then okay yeah <laughs> yep that's good too i yeah i just i, I mean R R richard's got faith that it might do something okay all right uh, but from here going forward yeah it's you know just let me know if you've got something that you'd like to think about because we're going to talk about downtime at the end of the session so but it is going to make a difference in how we proceed and things all right so uh, yeah, just, uh, we'll, we'll keep running. Where, uh, I, I think, uh, Dashiell's done for the evening. Okay. So he's gonna, uh, find a place to sit and, uh, smoke cigarettes and write down stuff in his journal. All right. Well, there's actually a coffee shop upstairs, so there's plenty of tables and kind of like booth areas and, you know, it's... Technically, it's not his place, but, you know, you're not making a mess. You just go up there and you kind of do whatever dashling sort of, you know, look at it to notes or, you know. Yeah. This, this so far, the day has given him uh, uh, an idea for a story. He wants to get some of the details down. Um, you will have noted that there was um, a mention of a certain serial news series owner. Um, it... it Basically, you know this company was a, um, it's like a film production company. And they produced okay. these really goofy, like almost kid serial movies about, you know, the intrepid team is researching the eldritch horrors, you know, on Earth. Um, that's the company that is the only single entity besides other government agencies mentioned. And they're mentioned repeatedly and they're entwined with this. And because you're kind of in that entertainment mindset, it really was something you noticed. Who, who where was it mentioned? Um, it's the company that makes all these silly serial movies. It's a, it's a Hollywood production company. <laughs> it's, it's like, why are they in this? Wait no, yeah. What's I don't I, I missed something. Where's where were they brought in? Their it, the, you, their name was mentioned in the paperwork you signed. Oh, repeatedly oh. in various like little sub clauses and contracts and things. Like as in, they would there's some sort of front business for this government agency. It's just it's out of place name. It would be listed along with all like other government agencies and things like that, you know, FBI and like Markham Industries or whatever its name is. You know what I'm saying? It's just mentioned in there like it was a, you know, part, you know, another department. But never, uh, uh, never, you know, just you, you saw it that way. Just kind of, it didn't occur to you until now that it just all of a sudden you met, made that mental click. Well, that's weird. I'm gonna jot that down on my notebook. Yeah. Search Arkham Radio Pictures. Well, I'm gonna go go uh, into the uh, the kitchen area and uh, see if there's any sandwich makings. Uh, old sweets, but you know, if if you want to eat cake, um, or you know, like 
there's brownies and kind of cookies and, you know, well, there's Portland. So let's say there's some stapley food items, you know, not just, you know, dessert. But so you much. got some cake there? I'll have some cake. There is quite a bit of cake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll uh, get up a, a, a slice of cake and I'll make sure I, I, I leave, a, you know, <laughs> money for them to, you know, Right. Yeah. You cover just... co co cover what what I take. This isn't the first. This isn't the first time you've raided the kitchen and just left money. But oh yeah, cares. yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I'll, I'll leave a quarter. It's a good tip. Yeah. It's you know it's, you're like you know because there's the owner of that business and you're the owner of the business downstairs. There's a certain leeway. <laughs> oh yeah. I write their money bags. Yeah. Uh, Twenty five cents. That's some people's salaries for the week. Yeah. You know, uh, we're, we're we're government na men now. We we, we make we make a and I go back to the paperwork. Uh, looks like a two dollars a day. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's not it's not a lot of money, but it's it's like you'd expect a a lower paid military officer would make, like a lieutenant, right? Oh, well, not, three dollars a, a day. Yeah, it's it's but it's not it, you ain't rich, you know. But you know, he <laughs> was definitely not rich. Uh. And so are you, are you coming to the end of your day? Yeah, well, uh, I think I've got a little couch over here. I'll, I'll stretch out on, you know, seeing that I'm injured, uh, I, I get the couch. And, um, well, and I will actually say that at that point, let us uh, conclude session two of the Journal of Annabelle Clement. Um,